Good morning, welcome back. How's it going, everybody? And by morning, of course, I mean 2.30 in the afternoon. Whoopsie. It's Monday. How come I'm still able to do the uh, the happy partner anniversary thing? Isn't it, like, you know, not my anniversary anymore? I noticed that I was able to send my own little birthday hat to myself. There was no sanity check on whether the streamer themselves should be allowed to click the thing. So I, I, I celebrated myself. I let myself know that, it yeah, you know what I'm saying? Good morning. Okay, I'm awake. I'm awake. I did sleep better. Husam B, Sensless, Stockmore, Trenchfoot, thank you all for your subs. Ooh, look. Number is going up again. Indeed it is. Okay, so. It's time for another session of Try to Take Over the World. Do we need the Dimmy to be loyal? We do not. Let's get some money from them. I like money. I do like money. We can make them happy again if we wish, but I don't need to do that just yet. So we're saving up for the level three monument so that we can revoke privileges to increase our colonial speed and capacity and stuff. However, I kind of forgot about that. They just kind of forgot. They just, they just forgot about the Dothraki, and I spent all my money on buildings and stuff. Oopsie. We name our rulers Liver, because then we could make liver pate. I think I get the joke, but I don't... What is liver pate? Is that food? I think it's food. We're conquesting. We have room for a general. We're ahead of time on tech. Let's re... Can rehire a conquistor. Who would like to join Sam Reret in conquisting? Pate. Is it, oh, that's how you pronounce our word? Our country? Pate? Have I been saying it wrong the whole time? I've just been saying pate. Stiker. I swear I asked people how to pronounce it at the start of the run so, so that I wouldn't make that mistake, but. Five maneuver. Hooey. You're going to be good at this. Please don't work together. Maybe maybe if we do put them in different colonial regions, they'll... I don't know. I just feel like they always are dumb. And they always end up going to the same place. It drives me nuts. The food is pronounced that way. Oh. Only the fourth day. Yeah, I also forgot to update the uh, day yesterday. Thank you to whoever... Whichever moderator updated it for me. That was probably confusing for people. I noticed a slight trade mistake that I was making. We had a merchant in Zambezi because we were doing a, a conversion thing. And it made sense at the time. But now that we don't need to do that anymore, it makes sense to move the merchant from here up to here. Just because... I think you are an okay person. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, I'm awake. I'm awake now. Okay, I'm awake. I'm awake. I, I am actually awake. Okay, what was I what was I saying? Uh 95% <laughs> of the value of the Great Lakes is coming out, but notice that none of it none of it is going towards Zanzibar because I don't have a merchant there and I don't have an extra merchant that I could use. Um so that 2.2 ducats is going to here, and then once it's here, 56% is being drawn out, being split between the two different nodes. The only thing we get by having a merchant in this node is the inland routes bonus, the merchant present bonus, and then also we're increasing outgoing trade value by 9.4%, but 9.4% of like 6.41 6 ducats is only, what, what 0.6 gold, versus just correctly having this go in the direction that we want, it's, it's going to be better, probably. Just in case it takes a snapshot of trade income before, uh, before we move on. Um... Okay, so I remember at the end of the session yesterday saying something along the lines of uh, PP small, I want big PP, and then also we have to just like get on to the, the challenge of it, right? We, we need to do some of the big wars now. It's time to fight Spain, time to start taking over the colonial game. We are doing well um, in terms of like strength. We're stronger than the Ottomans, we have higher income than Ming, we have higher income than Spain. Um, obviously, the Ottomans are going to have way more manpower than us, 2659 versus our 930. But we've got innovative offensive, and that's how you win wars, so we're fine. They have 195 force limit. I think they did go quantity ideas. 
Weird. They went to quantity and quality. Un unusual to see an AI do double mill group. Normally they do spread out between the different types. Weird. Killing a doll will be very good for trade as it's a trade company area. Yeah, we actually have pretty good control of the node already. Um, but more is more good too. So... We have a rivalry with the Ottomans and with the Spain. The Ottomans have 146,000 troops. Spain has 97,000 troops. They're on Tech 11 to our Tech 11. Spain went with exploration expansion into quality, but haven't finished quality yet. They do have full Spanish traditions already, so they have artillery fire plus one. Morale of armies plus 15. Let's just see how we look against our rivals in terms of morale. Bum, bum, bum. We have 3.85. They're 4.41. We have less morale, but we have 115 discipline at the moment because we have our inspirational leader once per campaign event. How much longer does that last? 115 discipline is pretty good. Still 35. We only have about a year of this left. We also have a temporary minus 20% construction cost modifier, which is very strong. Very, very strong. Bum, bum. We're not going to have enough maneuver to be here, are we? Darn it. We have too many infantry in this stack. Um, I'm going to just have half the army go here. Do we have enough generals for this? No? I will use our air. So, of the buildings that I started building, I uh, went through and found workshops that made sense. I built all courthouses, found a marketplace that needed to be built, built two shipyards, if I recall correctly. And then I went through and built mark, uh, regimental camps in any location that has a relatively high amount of land force limit gained and at least two building slots open. It's my own just personal preference. I, I don't like spending regimental, the, the last building slot on regimental camps because... I want the last building slot to usually be a, manu a manufactory, and uh, I also want to make sure that there's a workshop there. Eventually we'll have more building slots because I'm going to keep deving all the provinces, but I just generally don't spend the last building slot on regimental camps. Also, I did start building a very fancy pants manufactory in our capital, which is going to make us a lot of monies. 1.11 net monthly income just from the manufactory alone, and that doesn't even consider the increased trade value of the province as well. That part's good. They're also behind on Miltech. Who is? Spain? No, the Ottomans are. Well, if we want to... We need money so that we can upgrade our monument one more time. I need like probably eight to 10,000 gold right now. I actually think that the war with the Ottomans would be easier than Spain. They haven't finished quality yet. They have more troops, but they have qu uh, quantity ideas. We have a claim, so we can make the Wargle something we can control. What about Mission Tree? The Mission Tree, we did do a little bit of progress on. Uh, we got claims on this area. This is another thing that, like, we should do. Like, why not, why not just go do it, you know? We did buy a province, the uh, level 3 center of trade from this guy, and I did ship an army over here, and I do have a claim, so I guess I was thinking about that already. Luchistan, Jomper. Question is, can we beat these guys with one stack? Also, we can offer knowledge and request to trade, uh, to trade maps with quite a few people. So, um, I'm concerned about power projection. If I fight the Ottomans, it's just going to be a money war. Basically, the bank of... Bing, you know, Bank of Ottomans, they're going to pay for our monument and keep our power projection up. So, it would be really great if we could get a show superiority cast a spell on them, though. Bum, bum, bum. We have seven relationship slots. Wow. I'm going to come back from spying on Spain. Bum. I have a claim on Spain down here. We could make, we could do this war. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to attack Spain or do you want to attack the Ottomans? When considering it's 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 about positioning, it's about relative troops and quality and all that crap. But also a big consideration is how much do we actually get out of it? You know, like 
Um, the Ottomans have 1,329 direct dev versus the Spanish with 813. So the loan size for the Ottomans is going to be 1,329 divided by 2 times their trade efficiency from tech. So 6%. So 704 times 5 loans max, we can get up to 3,500 gold from them in a peace deal. Versus the Spanish, which is just going to be like... What did I say it was? 813? So 2,000 gold. It's an extra 1,400 gold to fight the Ottomans and get the same overall war score. You only have 5k manpower? It's because we just murdered all of our kids. We were sitting at 80,000. We just we just murdered all of the all the the pate children. We turned them into pate. Haha. -ha. Ottomans are at war already. True. That's right. They're involved in this uh, Venetian Knights Naples Savoy Salzburg Constance war. Yeah, I think I like the war here. I'm gonna we're actually gonna auto transport this army back over to here. Supply is not great. So let's actually drop them off here. Of this army march north. This is a bring all of the armies to the front lines type situation. We also have rebels that are about to fire. Buhan in Buya. 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 Here. Hmm. Sort of annoying to try to suppress there. Once I have a diplomat back, I can just ask for access this way, unless Congo won't give it to us. Of course he won't. Negative 10 reasons. Hostile attitude. I mean, I, I did just attack him. To take his stuff. It's not very nice of us, but what can you do? Maybe this army can... We, we beat the Ottomans with just two armies? I don't know. Just checking to see if I have a return province on any of these armies that would allow me to get black flagged. I do not. I have to wait for the transports, I guess. Kind of irritating. In that case, they can keep drilling for now. We have this... Province that we can core over here, but I don't want a full core because it's just going to become a colonial nation. I'm going to turn off the alerts. We're not doing that monument. Okay. Good, good, good. Can we get access to Ethiopia? Almost definitely, yeah. Adal says no. He is also hostile. It would be nice to have more diplomats. I, I, I'm, I've gotten really used to espionage ideas and how many just overall diplomats you end up with. Really weird to not have as many now. Bum, 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 bum. And propagate religion in Congo. Do that. That little merchant trade node change that I did did increase trade income by a little under five gold, like four point two, something like that. Whatever. So little little optimizations here and there. Increased our our overall efficiency and whatever. Um. Get access through Ethiopia. I'm gonna try to improve with Congo a little bit just to see if I can get military access. What's this? Uh, there's a thing you can do that's kind of silly. Um, you can add colonies to trade companies even though they're not like done. And you can actually build the trade company investments before the first colony is done if you do it from the macro builder. See? So if you're trying to get a new merchant, um, it's it's a thing you can do. You can't access the interface. You, you can't see the trade company investments in the state, right? Like this interface. You can't see it, but you can do it. You can even do the 1,000 gold investments if you want to. It will allow this click. What happens if you lose the colony? Same thing as if you lost the, uh, same thing as if you were to de-trade company the whole state. If, if there's not at least one trade company province in a state, then all of the trade company investments instantly disappear. So we got that going for us, which is nice. What kind of advisors are we running? Diplo rep? Bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna switch to the Morale Navy's guy. We're running budget advisors right now because we just don't need them. Our Monarch Point generation's fine. I, I just want more money to build out the monument and stuff. We don't need to run a higher level this guy. We're running Manpower guy so we can murder more kids. This all seems fine. 
This army is actually going to... Let's just go suppress or fight these rebels real quick. Our best general is, for combat, is probably still Wolgo. Have him there. These transports are going to come back down and go to here. Probably time to start building out a fourth stack. Let's go four more infantry here. What are we doing on boats? We have 135 naval force limit, and we have 136 light ships. We're over by one, which is fine. Because naval force limit is more of a suggestion, really. Ba -bum. I shall lead your general suck. We have 52 army tradition, so it'd be best to wait for more army tradition before heavily investing in new generals. And we're about to do a war with the Ottomans that potentially involves a lot of battles and sieges. So yeah, we would have slightly better generals if we rolled a bunch right now. But um, I want to get to 96.3 army tradition first, preferably. Ajarani separatists have done a thing. How cruel of them. Purchase our first age bonus. All right, Spain can get land leader shock plus one in this era. There is a thing that the Mughals can have in this era, if we were to form them. We need to make a concerted effort to do that as well. Let's take war score costs versus other religions first. I don't think that the Ottomans are going to have death stacks. They're going to have paper tiger stacks. They have quantity ideas. They did take quality as well, but they haven't finished it, and they're two miltex behind because of this quantity into quality thing. And without innovative paired with quality, all that quality really gives you is like a little bit of combat ability. You know, it's like 10% on each of the unit types and a bunch of boat crap. Bum, 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 bum. Get access through a doll. Potentially soon, if we can. Thank you for the happy partner anniversary comments still. Are our conquistadors being brothers? Of course they are. This is like, so, so dumb. So dumb. Just so damn dumb. Drives me nuts. You know, it's like the Step Brothers movie. They just keep hanging out together. Gain innovativeness. Or get a mosque. I like innovativeness. We need to declare a war on the Ottomans soon. Don't you dare start going toward the other one. Okay, um, we've got one army in position, second army nearby. I can't get through a doll. Transports are on the wrong side. Transports will be over there in December. A few more months. I can still insult, uh, still embargo Spain. So let me have access to Congo? It does. Okay, we actually don't need the transports that way then. Boom. There. Which means I don't really need the access through at all either. Boom. We're gonna black flag our way through, I think. Instead of asking for access through a whole bunch of different people. Let me get my embargo on Spain before power projection slips below 50. Also, we can do subsidies. The Spanish are in a war. The Ottomans are in a war. I can't see many of these countries, but we could do like, you know, 0.1 subsidies per month to a few countries to keep power projection higher. As an option. Let's do that, and they can march over to, say, here. If I don't, yeah, they'll, we can get through that way, that's fine. This army needs to suppress away the Buhan Separatists. Done. Okay. Um, ba -ba -bum, ba -bum. 
work towards India so we can become Moogles Mughal, faster and India still cash money, money dollar. True. Becoming economic hegemon faster is also very motivating. But my first goal right now is to get the money from the Ottomans, keep our power projection up, and then, uh, and then we'll probably look to take advantage of these claims in India. We'll make the Morgul the Morgul Quester so that we have an easy ticking war score target. I think we're ready to declare. By the time they can respond or do whatever, I should be able to put more troops on the front lines. So away we go. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba. Um, okay, we can also get access to Radal now. So this army can march up to here. These guys are gonna stay together and go to Quester. It would be swell if you guys could avoid attrition, please. Considering that I did kill all of our children. Transports can go to here. I can upgrade that monument. We're up to 94 force limit now because the uh, regimental camps has started before the stream began today have finished. Are there any other regimental camps we can build? Maybe I do use the last building slot for regimental camps in this circumstance. I think I do. Especially while we have this massive discount to construction costs. Just sort of makes sense, you know? Going on to Cairo. Bum, 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 bum. This means we should. Oh, also, another thing I did before I started the stream today is I, I spent 100 spy network that I had on the Ottomans, stealing two sets of maps. I probably shouldn't have done that because we could have 20% more siege ability right now, which would be kind of useful. I said stop walking together. Dummies. This army is going to, let's see, we have access through Medina. We are not at war with Medina. Let's auto transport to here. This is a two siege bit leader. Do we have a better siege leader? No. Fine. Forming the Mamluks is a good idea. We talked about that yesterday, I think. Mamluks are, they're better than what we are uh, as far as national ideas and government and all that stuff goes, but I don't think they're as good as the Mughals. We're almost definitely doing the Mughals. mark down our army tradition at the start of the war, and it will be interesting to see how fast we gain it with innovative offensive. You know, we have 31 day siege sticks in a location with 45% defensiveness, so in Cairo we're probably a lot faster, 23 day siege sticks. This is not a good location for this actually. Get support from the merchant guilds again, sure. I think while we have this minus 20% uh, temporary construction cost modifier, I will knock out some many factories. Although, again, I'm supposed to be saving for the monuments, but 20% construction cost on all monuments or many many factories is crazy, you know? You can do Mamluks and then Mughals. We could, I think. I don't know if Mamluks are an end tag, but what would be the pros to, to doing that? Like, why is it that you want the cores? The free cores. I mean, it is a motive. It's a motivator for sure. So, okay, just to make sure everyone understands what he's suggesting, like, 
We kill the Mamluks, then form the Mamluks, then the Mamluk cores that they own will be still the Mamluk cores, they'll be our cores, and then we can use Reconquista to just take the land back at 0% autonomy, and there's some value in that, right? That's a lot of land that we wouldn't have to pay points for, it's 25% aggressive expansion instead of a lot higher. Um, it could be worth doing, I don't know. I don't think that we need to worry about, like, the monarch point efficiency of it. Just conquering the land is still going to be relatively efficient. Okay, this army is... These guys all belong over here. There should only be eight infantry in each of these two stacks. You two belong together. You belong together. Cairo has fallen. Ottomans have 145,000 troops still on Tech 9 to our Tech 11. Um, I bet we get all the way up to like here before we even see his army. We might not even see his army this entire war. Sam also got killed by natives. Probably because he was hanging out with his friend. Nope. Alright, well, let's replace him. Who shall lead? Sad. It's sad that you don't get... I feel like you should get professionalism for hiring conquistadors. I don't understand why you don't. You're still spending the exact same amount of military points. You're already paying for the fact that they're a worse general because they don't have as many pips. Um, on average. About a 20% reduction to overall pip quality. Which you can see just by looking at it. 5 to 12 versus 4 to 11, right? So they just have lower pips. I feel like it's an oversight, like, you should just still get the professionalism, you're hiring a commander, you know? Glory to us. <laughs> it just gave me the professionalism that I would have gained if I had hired a regular general. Kind of funny. Okay, um, ba -ba -bum, ba -bum. it's definitely an oversight. I mean, just a thought, I just, I know that, uh, professionalism wasn't always in the game, and, um, could be that way. Wow, this fort felt fast. Um, um, we have a one siege pip guy here. We have a two siege pip babby. He is pretty high stats. He's plus four. We don't lose stab on death. I think it probably is worth risking him for an extra siege pip. Let's get him to the front lines. Pop this guy out instead. Extra 7%. Can make all the difference. We have one. Go here, here, and here. You can't really get around. We are at war with Hormuz. We could send one of our stacks that way. I think we'll have the third stack. Start doing that. How many people can we actually knock out? Fazan and Hormuz. Fazan. Fazan's way over there. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. We don't have access through Mushasha or the Mamluks. Mamluks say no. These are hostile. I need a claim on this guy. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Surprisingly, we only have 10% rebel progress in a lot of them. I guess that means we might actually be done with the whole rebel part of the game. So that's nice. Away we go. Backfill these occupations as well. 21 war score. All, we were, all we're really looking for from you, sir, is money and war reps. I don't think we push for the humiliates. It's just going to take too much effort. 
I just want to cripple him. Negative 69 reasons for acceptance. And I was wrong. We do see an army before Ankara. Just chilling. Still on tech 9? Yep. And he does want to fight. Bum, 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 bum. We will just pile in. I think we're probably okay here. Let's get our best general to the front lines. We're gonna get Striker to teleport over here. We're at 58 points for army tradition. We could roll another general to try, try to get a, a better leader before the battle. 2-5 is still pretty good. They've got a 3-3. Um, I think I want to wait still for more army tradition. We're probably going to lose this fight, but we will reinforce enough that the losses shouldn't be too bad. And then we'll just retreat behind the forts, regroup a little bit, wait for another stack to catch up. We'll wait till all the armies are here, and we'll probably retreat on the next bad roll, or when we see artillery in the front row, which is now. So we're out. He had some of his army retreat as well. We'll retreat to, like... Here. Bum, bum, bum. Making sure none of them are going off in uh, other random directions. Okay, this army is going to... Need access through Mahra. Bum, bum. The survivor. Gain a Conquistador and lose prestige, or don't. I will don't. Inquisitor Striker just died. Wow, you guys are dropping like flies, man. Alright, well, we've gained, like, 10 army tradition. Let's roll some actual generals for quality. We don't really need to conquist this aggressively. We can roll two or three. And then we'll probably replace them when we get higher army tradition at the end. S-Z-L. S underscore Z-I-E-L. Please be good. Okay, three siege pips is useful. Babes, 95. Boom. Nice. Five maneuver and three siege. Very useful. Not the best for combat, but still, very good roll. And Asair is trash. <laughs> Sorry, no offense, but it's true. Let's get this uh, smaller army down here drilling. We've gained even more force limits. I want to just go up to our force limit in infantry right now. Not going to add a fourth artillery stack. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna get military access through Mahra and then march on the other guy. Boom. How fast are they able to siege back the stuff that I siege? I forgot to transfer Damascus. 23D siege ticks for us. Boom. Only 5 defensiveness versus 30. 25. Only a 5% disc, uh, 5% loss in defensiveness, so I'm still going to have the subjects pay for the forts and give me my, you know, visual indicator. We need someone with high maneuver in charge of the most damage stack up here so we can reinforce at full speed in enemy territory. It's been a long time since we've, like, done a deep dive on reinforcement stuff, so let's talk about it. Uh, notice how we have 70% local reinforcement rate. Why is that? It's because this is not our land, right? So an army without a general has 50% local reinforcement rate in enemy territory. It has 100% reinforcement rate in your own land. Uh, I believe you don't even get full reinforcement in your subject's lands either. But each maneuver pip on the leader will give you an extra plus 10% up to a maximum of 5, right? You can't go... A 6 maneuver guy doesn't give you 110% reinforcement, although that'd be kind of cool. So whichever army is the most damaged, in order to get this army up to snuff, we're going to put our 5 maneuver guy in charge, and now we have 100% local reinforcement rate. We could also hire something else here if we wanted to, reinforcement speed or whatever. I think we will do that, actually. Ottomans still in the other war? They are, yes. Bum, bum. We're not going to get a ton of power, like, uh, I, I'm, if I don't get the Humiliate, we're not going to get, stay firmly above for a very, very, very long time or anything, but... Bum, bum, that's okay. Supply is 43 here. Let's go to Sharik. Keep just one stack together for now. This army is suffering unnecessary attrition, of course. There's no general down here. Oh. 
bum. I need a general to us. Yeah, I just put two in charge. All right, so yeah, we have a few necessary troops. Max 5,613 per month. Um, I'm pretty sure that you know any reinforcements that are necessary are going to be here. We're 10,000 manpower in the hole. Maybe I shouldn't have killed 80,000 um, babies on a monument before declaring war on the Ottomans, but whatever. It's fine. It'll be fine. Don't you worry. It looks like we're actually building barracks in potential trade company land, which is not good. We are still eight years ahead of time on tech, so I would be comfortable continuing to do some more developments. Also, fixing crown land is something I'd like to do. Develop our capital, little barracks in Mbapate. I think I may have already just started doing that. That gets us loyalty, but no other thing. Colonize, that takes forever. We'll do the Amir's one. Run one stack, two mountain forts to Scorched Province. Um, so, there is value in that, in that um, they'll have a harder time reinforcing into the fight, but it's very likely that what we're going to do here is the Ottomans are going to come in and they're going to take back some of these things that I just sieged down, and then they're going to spread out again, because there won't be things that they need to unsiege. And then we'll just roll through again and siege quickly again in another 10 army tradition. Because remember, we started the war at 51.8, we're up to 60. So every time we siege these forts, we gain more army tradition and we're good at it. So I don't really want to fight them. And therefore, scorching the province kind of is bad for me. Because if I let them retake it, once it's controlled by them, the scorched modifier will still be there. And now I pay the penalty moving into it, you know? We are also har far enough ahead of, ahead of time on tech that we should definitely be running a Admiral on our fleet. Let's make it an explorer in case we want to do some more exploration. Who wants to swim? 20 phalanges? 20 phalanges has four maneuver. Ooh -ee. There probably is more stuff we could be exploring right now, but I'm not going to really worry about it, I think. Mm -hmm. A couple more months of reinforcements, although, well, it's going to take more than a couple months because we don't have any manpower. We could be running manpower edicts. I also just trained 22,000 new troops. Um, 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 um. I don't think this is going to affect our manpower generation much, but it's not very expensive and we can afford it. So I would rather do this, even if it's slightly inefficient, than... Turn on Slack and Recruitment. I value the, the professionalism a lot higher than the manpower and the manpower deficiency that we have right now. We are like 900-ish manpower, if I recall correctly. And with all of our edicts on, it makes us an extra 100 a month. Eh, it's not nothing. Also, if I remember correctly, I turned off I, I turned off the manpower thing from the nobles because we were like not needing manpower anymore, but we actually are. Supply is not good enough here for this army. It was only here to help suppress the rebels, so let's move it to the coast. Boom, 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 boom. Three, three day siege sticks are pretty quick, I must say. Ottoman Siege Ability 26.7. They must have a uh, trait. Yeah, they got a Siege Specialist, 15% extra. That's why it's relatively fast. We're going to wait till they move on to the uh, Mountain Fort, and then we'll probably go there. We'll take a fight. Mm -hmm. Ormaz has only 14k troops on tech 8. We're likely just gonna like white piece this guy. I'm gonna split off a portion of our ships and we'll just go blockade that sea tile so that we can get onto his capital. 
Also, war score from blockades. Gain manpower at the cost of war exhaustion. Of course. And I apparently accidentally told the whole fleet to stop instead of just some of it. Fair enough. Also, the Admiral went with the other side for some reason. What I wanted. I want you to go up to here. You're going here. You're going here. Pulling these two artillery off and having them join as well. Turn back on again. Can't click. This is too small. Two siege pips. We have multiple three siege pip generals now. SZL. They're actually reinforced well enough that we're suffering attrition here now. So let's take the artillery off. I think we're close enough to fully reinforce that I'm just going to split back into two stacks again. We can also get our Conquistador to Conquist again, if he isn't. He is, okay. I think we're just going to run one Conquistador, to be honest. <laughs> hey, Damascus fell, but we expected that. And just get you out of the war now, potentially. Morale of Armies plus five? Sure. Supply is kind of low. I'm going to swap the generals. Higher maneuver guy can be the one to hang out on this side because his maneuver reduces the supply weight of the army by his maneuver value. So this is 26 troops, but it's going to treat it like it's 21. So we can easily fit that army over there with a good maneuver general. I think people undervalue maneuver a lot. Maneuver is a very strong modifier. You know, affects reinforcement. It affects the uh, movement speed. It affects the supply unit weight. It affects river crossings and straight crossing penalties, and just there's a lot of good stuff. You know, let's switch to a morale of armies guy now. We will run him at full price. It's fine. Why pay to all countries? Because we're doing two achievements, one of which requires us to be a body. So, you know, why not? What's wrong with it? Okay, he's using a leaderless stack here. We're going to position around their potential reinforcement routes. That army probably doesn't want to be here. 20th. We're going to be there on the 21st. We can swap to this guy and be there on the 20th, which is still not fast enough. Okay, um... We will just chill here then, for now. Don't have access to this guy, but we can get it. It's moving into Jerusalem on the 25th. This is a circumstance where we will Scorch in order to run away. Third. Wow, he is quick. Bum, 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 bum. Even with the Scorch, even with our highest maneuver general, we're not able to get away by one day. I haven't checked the file though, I, I don't know. Are we actually... I, I, I assume... I think the Ottomans are pretty high in the list. They're line 48. Yeah, they do calculate before us. Alright, so damn, we're off by one damn day. Even with the Scorch. I underestimated their ability to move. We'll put SCL here, we'll put Tabes back up here. We're gonna fight for 12 days, then retreat into the mountain fort. And take that fight instead. Bum, 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 bum. 
course, he's, he's rolling a 9, obviously. We're going to take a lot of losses in this fight, but... I think overall... We're then going to win that fight really well, and it'll make up for it. Doesn't want to give me his trade power, eh? I don't care about their alliance to the Ottomans. They can keep it. It's fine. I'm assuming we're going to get black flagged here. We did not. Um, come this way. These ships can go back to protecting here. Okay, if they keep on piling in, um, we are going to take losses on our artillery. But it's very, it's a fairly favorable fight. They only have a 0-2 versus our 3-3. And they've got the 2 terrain penalty. Bum, bum, bum. We have one more mountain fort that we can fall back to before we do another push. I think I'm going to retreat here, actually. I'm going to go to here. Bum, bum, bum. That does give them an extra siege tick on the fort if there is an active siege, but there wasn't because he actually tried to retreat. One of those little things. Uh, if there's a battle in a province where there's an active siege and the sieger, the, the country doing the siege, wins the fight, you get an extra instantaneous siege status tick. So like 33 extra days have passed and then that will happen. But because he wasn't actually doing the siege, it was just a fight, then uh, it doesn't happen. Thank you for the happy partner anniversary statements and comments and stuff. Once again, we're going to put the more damaged army under the control of our higher maneuver general. Let's spread out and just reinforce a little bit. If we want to go as fast as possible. I could... Yeah, they'll, they'll sync up. We're close enough. All right. We've got our drill stack. We've got... The army can probably come around through here. I can get access to the Mamluks now. Um. Um. They're only at negative 35. I think this is going to take them a while. We've got 33 day siege sticks here now. Let's not make make sure we don't go through Jerusalem this time, in order to actually be safe. You know. Okay, Musasha, Musasha, I need your thing. We could have this army be like a forward quick sieger and uh, try to distract them. So talking like strategically, when you're fighting an enemy who's much larger than you, or who has like better military quality, or just more overall troops and economy and stuff, like a just a dangerous enemy. Um, the way that you can win, instead of trying to take these head-to-head -head fights, obviously you want to put yourself in a position where you're, you're defending and, and taking favorable terrain, but you can also manipulate the AI by distracting them. So, right now, look at it from the AI's perspective. The war goal is here, our army is here, and this land is occupied. So, the front is just, it's just here. Just put the whole army here. If I send a single stack up here and threaten some provinces up in this area, especially if you occupy a fort, now all of a sudden he's got this front and this front. And what the AI will do, because they're not very smart, is instead of keeping like enough troops here to be safe, they'll just split the army in half or they'll send the whole thing toward this front once it's time for them to deal with it. So having a really high maneuver general like Tabes motivates me to try to go do that. So I think we will have him go and try to threaten a fort with preferably low defensiveness. 30% and 45%. It'd be good if it had defensive terrain because it makes our army safer, but... 
See, like right now, he only has 35k troops here and he's doing a mountain siege. We can probably beat that. What I'm going to do is we're going to have this army go around and we're going to scout out to see if there's another stack near Damascus and if there isn't, we'll take the fight. If there is, we'll fall back to the mountains again. Once the fight's done, we can start to repressure Damascus again. This is a circumstance where with this army in particular, I would be very willing to do a barrage in order to speed up the siege and potentially actually snipe the fort quickly. Our colony finished. Cool. I remember the Ottoman War when we were playing as So. It was hilarious how brain dead the AI was. AI hyperfocusing is relatable, to be honest. Yeah, so the thing is, like, we don't have to keep this army here. We just siege a province and then find a defensive location to hide it. Possibly a great tactic that you, you can use is... In fact, let's just do it. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So, we're gonna get access through Kara. A second claim on this guy. We'll get access through Kara and then um, set our return province. Like, this is a great circumstance here. So the Bitless Fort looks dangerous, right? Because it's a mountain fort. But if we come in from our bill, while we are the ones with the access, we create a return province here for the army. Once we siege the fort, if we like barrage and whatever it, then we can black flag ourselves at will here. Suddenly our, our army disappears from the map. The AI can't see black flagged armies. It, they literally can't, they're just not there. It's not that they see that it's um, unengageable, it literally can't see the army at all. So now there's no army in this front and just one occupied fort. So it'll leave like a token force, like a 10 stack or 20 stack to, to unseize the fort. And then all of a sudden our black flagged army can come in and relieve the defensive siege of a fort. When he had no idea that it was coming, we get an easy fight, easy war score from battles from that. And then we can re black flag again. Like, there's a lot of ways you can manipulate the AI. Since we don't see any other armies, we will definitely take this fight once there's a threat to the fort. First, we'll occupy a few more provinces. Bum, 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 bum. But that's rude? Yeah, for sure. Thinking on it, I think maneuver is underrated precisely because the pips are at their most useful when you're behind with considerably lower value in a war where you are more powerful than your opponent. Well, I think in general, most people just don't even know what... They don't know all of the things that Maneuver does. I have access through Ethiopia right now, and Mahra, I don't need it here. Like... We went through it a minute ago. There are like five different things, four or five different things that maneuver pips do. Nice natural wall breach up here. Cool. And we got his and Kaifa. Chance of that to this guy. So we could come in like this, but I'm going to demonstrate. We're going to intentionally come in this way. You also have to keep an eye on the fact that like, if if you have access because the AI asks for access, this tr this strategy or trick won't work because he'll just, you know, he won't cancel it or. If you have implicit access because the Ottomans have access, and then you also ask for access, you cancelling your access doesn't change the fact that you have access, because the Ottomans still have it. But in this case, because they didn't have it, and I'm asking for it, they won't ask for it. So, like, pre-asking for access in locations where you intend to get black flagged is kind of important. And look at this behavior. This is, this is such a great example of it. Look. Where the fuck are you going? Well, there's a fort! I gotta go up there. I'm gonna leave my 18 stack, 0231 commander, who's sieging down a mountain fort. I'm gonna leave him all by himself because that's reasonable, right? Here's a chance our fort can fall. We'll wait till this guy's locked. And then we will sync up an arrival with these two armies. 26th and 22nd, we wait until smart AI. And this is, again, I I 
talked about it, but I just want to point out how effective this was. Like, by moving around the army, positioning our armies on the opposite side, he's two provinces away to reinforce instead of one or two, or like, you know, he's like three provinces away. He was out of vision. That army will not make it in time to save this 10 stack. And if it does, then it's fine. Like, it's still another bad fight for them. Bum, bum, bum. He's coming in with a 3-3 on the 16th. We don't have time for... Um, bum, 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 bum. We barely took any casualties on most of the army. But... Bum, bum. I want him to be here. I want you to be here. I'm thinking now about possibly um, scorching this and falling back. And the reason why is because even though it's a fair rule fight, we are still lowish on manpower and troop quality is roughly equal, I would say. The thing is, I know that if I back off, he'll do it again. Right? He's not going to leave a 50 stack on that fort. So why take the fight with 50 troops when we could just back off and take multiple fights with 10 stacks or 20 stacks? So we will Scorch. I know I said I wasn't going to and I talked about like how it could be bad for us, but now it's different. Now I, you know, we have an army up here. The circumstances have changed. I don't think he's going to be able to take these forts back. So now having it Scorched is favorable for me. Therefore, we'll do it. He is going to be there on the 20th. We aren't gone until the 22nd if we go that way. I think I may have messed up by having the armies not go together. 18th and that one. I think we can do this, but I think it's going to reset the movement speed of the faster army to the slower army. But I'm going to try it. Yeah, it did. Now they're both going to be gone on the 22nd. Okay. Is what it is. The Scorch will still help with other potential reinforcements and stuff. Shame that that didn't work though. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to uh, movement speed. Yeah, we got bitless. I think we will black flag ourselves and set up a trap over here. In this case, it'd actually be better if I hadn't taken his and Kaifa because now they will probably do both sieges, and it'd be better if we could just have them in the mountain. But because we currently have access through Kara. There's a good chance that the Ottomans will ask for access if we cancel access. So if we're going to try to do this black flag trick type thing, we want to send the army and then cancel the access like one day before the army is going to arrive. Otherwise, the AI will potentially replace our access request and then we won't get black flagged. Bum, 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 bum. And I need to mention this. We need to pay for this fort because we won't get unblack flagged in forts occupied by our subjects. You do get on Black Flag marching into a subject's actual land, but in order to get on Black Flag in enemy occupations, it has to be your control. So normally I would transfer it so that they pay for it and whatever, and I can see where the forts are easier and all those other reasons, but um, here just to demonstrate, make sure I'm not crazy, we shouldn't get on Black Flag there. This fight's going however it is. We were, I should have retreated earlier. It's fine. It's fine. So there shouldn't be... Yeah, see so yeah, how we don't get on Black Flagged? And I can't transfer it now because it's being besieged, but that's okay. We'll just wait for them to go for Bitless. We have 26 war score. They are on... We have no positive war score from battles, but 12.4 ticking. And as I mentioned, he's, he's going to do it again. He's going to split up, and it would have been definitely better for us to... actually have backed off like I intended. Let's make sure we've got... Fairly decent maneuver generals in charge up there. I think we took a lot of losses on our artillery in one of the stacks. Eh, not that bad actually. Of course he got a wall breach. I could unblock flag in bitless and then we could relieve this one, but I, I think I'll just let him take his and Kaifa back. Boom. We're up to 66 army tradition now. He won't I don't think he's gonna keep that 45 stack there the whole time. And if he does, we can just trigger a battle um, in an adjacent province. Okay, he took that back. It's moving into the fort. Surprise, mother trucker! We're gonna get you! 
Did he get access to Kara? He did not. I will ask for it again so we can recreate this circumstance. I keep on maneuvering around a bit. We can also take back this fort very quickly if um, we want a barrage assault. Wow, it's got a 4522 Master at Arms he's reinforcing with. Um, um. One risk of the strategy is that if you enter a zone of control when you unblock flag yourself, it can create a circumstance where you have no retreat point at all. Down here it says land movement blocked by hostile fort. Um, we... Yeah, shit, did I, did I do it? I might have. Isn't Kaifa, curse you! Bum, bum. My bad, that was silly. This army might actually get deleted now, because I can't retreat. I just literally can't retreat anywhere. Trying to show off a thing. I mean, we can retreat to his and Kaifa. I guess we should, but then we are trapped. Bum, bum, bum. Well, try your best, Tabes. Um, it is theoretically possible we could barrage assault right now. He's gonna be here in three days. Spend military points for barrage assault. It would clear our issue with having no retreat point, but then we'd still have to fight for 12 days. Retreat to Bitless, and then escape to Kara before he can reinforce again. I would have to scorch Bitless. You have almost no morale. I know. Yeah, it's true. But it's only 200 troops. I think it's the best opportunity for this army to actually live. So... Um, you need higher morale to order the assault. There's a minimum morale requirement now? Really? I wasn't aware of that. Um, um. So I just wasted military points for no reason. That's fine. This is all fine. Hey, look, we have 70.5 army tradition now, guys. Isn't that awesome? It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay. This does not define us. We'll just build them again. He did pull back the 50 stack. Bum, 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 bum. Tabes, you will lead again. Over here. Do, 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 do. You can't assign a general to this army right now. Bum, 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 bum. Um, we have technically lost a little bit less in troops than, has, than he has, but not by much, I must say. And we are competing with a massive manpower recovery speed disparity. It's got two and a half times our manpower recovery rate, so... We are going to retreat from this. Hundred twenty three thousand troops to our seventy two thousand. Do 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 Why are we fighting the automat again? Power projection and money pot potentially. 
Yeah, I see he is intercepting with one stack. In that direction. But we are locked with both armies. Could use the boats. Can't I? I think we can do the auto transport thing, essentially. That is such a cheesy little thing you can do. So, the army is movement locked, but you can still control right click on a province and turn on automatic transport, which then makes the navy the army stop. Now, we can also use this exploit to stop the shattering army. So, now we're over here and we can fight on this side. I think we're going to scorch this so that he can't reinforce quickly and we'll take this fight. Fight for 12 days. This army that can't be controlled because it's technically shattering can be controlled by using attach. Um, he is locked already here. Bum, bum, bum. I'm going to go through Shakira, Sharkia Sh instead. So here we're just going to fight until his reinforcement stack arrives and then we will retreat over to here again. Behind forts. Over here. We're not technically like winning that, that type of battle when I do it like that, but we are taking favorable terrain, like favorable engagements. So even though it's technically a loss in terms of like war score, it is killing more than we lose, which we need, we need to kill a lot, but it's it's affecting his enthusiasm and basically just stalling out, waiting for the war goal, the picking war score to go up. We have 50 reasons from peace. They hold Constantinople, is making gains, relative strength of alliance, etc. Numbers and things. This war would be a lot easier if I had not deleted 80,000 manpower into a monument before we started, for sure. Bum, 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 bum. If we threaten Damascus... Mm, taking these fights has not worked out for me. He has too many troops, and he's got a better general than we do right now. Four or five mastered arms. I think we can siege new lands down faster than he can take the lands back. So... I'm going to have Tabes lead this stack, and we're going to have them go to his and Kaifa. We're going to have SCL lead this stack, and I want to make sure we're able to retreat, so I don't think we go after Damascus. Bum, 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 bum. No way you can save this run. <laughs> I understand that reference. He will likely have that fort before we can get up there. But if we threatened to go there, it might make him change his mind. We got a wall breach or did a barrage. Just a wall breach. Mm Okay, we're only on 16 war score at the moment, all from ticking war score. He got Cairo back. That is a fight I don't really want to take. Whoops, found the 4-5. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. No way you can save this run. No way. Our PP is small. 7th rank, great power. Hmm. Have we insulted someone recently? No. We'll insult Spain. PP is embiggened. 71.6 army tradition. We've gained 20 since the start of the war. Bum, 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 bum. 
Um, arriving on the 24th. We can be gone by the 24th. Do, 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 do. I think we're taking this fight. I would like a recovery tick here, though. Hopefully this stalls me long enough that we can get a reinforcement tick up here. Yeah, I suspected that there was a secondary army coming over here. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we have room for no generals, but we're going to roll a couple now that we have 20 more tradition than before. 6 to 15 with 3 guaranteed. Let's roll like 4 right now. Keep the best. I shall lead poorly. I will test you on that random index. Are you sure? What if you're a god? <gasps> 2, 6, 2, 3. You're a god. Combat leader galore. X Pablo. X Pablo. Pablo. 5, 4, 3, 3. This is why we like offensive ideas with innovative. Captain Tom 07. Not our best roll. I think that uh, the odds of improving our current general pool is not very high right now, but damn. Okay. Never mind. I'm wrong. Okay, Captain Tom, not very good. Isair is useless. Sorry, Isair. This guy needs to go as well. Boom, boom, boom. SCL is... There's just too many other siege leaders now. Justify keeping your low maneuver. If you were, like, the only three siege pip guy, we probably would have kept you, but... And then, too low shock, not high enough maneuver, not better siege. So Captain Tom can go. Alright, so that leaves us with this army up here. And take our... We still want to move quickly right now, and we want to reinforce. We'll have that guy lead for now, but then we'll swap someone else in soon. And we'll have Gouger drill. Low maneuver is not great. Flies quite high here. Let's have the whole army go together into this location. Um, bum, 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 bum. Mm -hmm. I hate suffering attrition on this march, but keeping the army together is important, I think. Or at least relatively close to its to itself. Did I lose ticking war score? I did. We need to get that back pretty quickly. Instead of drilling, we could send a third stack up. They're not going to be very competent, but I think it might be necessary to actually win the war. Let's have Tabes go there, bring the army up as quick as we can, and we will pull in a combat leader on the fully reinforced stack now. I'd like to engage this while I know that he's got like 50k troops over there. Although I haven't seen it in a while, so it might already be rotating over. Bum bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum bum. I'm going to use the boats to try to get Quester occupied again soon. This is actually a good thing, what's happening right now. Like, <laughs> the fact that we lost the Ticking War score swung the war goal from like, it swung the war score between the two countries from like 13 or 15 or whatever to negative two. And then when we get the war goal back, it's going to swing this same amount in the opposite direction. It'll go from like negative two back up to 15. And that's relevant because after 90 days, from the day that we get the Taking War score back, it, instead of it being Ottomans is making gains, it'll be Ottomans, uh, it'll be that we're making gains. And that'll affect its enthusiasm and potentially make it possible for us to get him out of the war. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
All right, he is really itching to fight us. That 4522 is dangerous. I wonder if we're safe to actually go try to take down Cairo real quick. Leave the hills and mountains. Split this army up a little bit. Cairo's garrison is still small, so it would be plus one advantage on that siege. We've got a four siege pip leader now. We can also barrage assault. we got plenty of points. We don't necessarily need to barrage and assault. We could just do the barrage to get some more advantage. Cairo's not very defensive either. Where did I scorch again? I think there's a map mode for scorch now. We scorched in Suez, so... It'll be hard. We could maybe, like, retreat through Suez. If I, if I occupy Suez, we could use the boats to get out quickly. Yeah, I think we're going to go for this. Let's have Gajar on that army, and we'll have Buster Babby go to Suez. Thank you for the happy anniversary party statements and stuff. 21% chance we lose this. He's got 33 day siege sticks. He is itching to fight us, but he left the 4522 behind and is just coming forward with the no leader stack. It's kind of interesting. He will he will assign a general before taking a battle. Almost for sure, right? 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 I might want to fight him here, honestly. Like... If I can, if there's a if there's a fight over here, you might break the siege of that thing. Leaderless snack moving into Sinai. Ba -ba -bum, ba -bum. We had the boats; we could reinforce and be there quickly. Don't actually have enough artillery for a full plus five. I think we might want to just park the whole army here in preparation for this battle. And he's got a three 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 here now. Transport's going to go to Suez. Now is not a great time for pop-ups game. Big legalism. I like legalism. We are winning the fight, but at what cost? No artillery in the front row yet. And because of the scorched earth in Suez, he is trying to reinforce. Now we have artillery in the front row. If we win this fight, we might actually win the siege. I don't like the artillery taking damage. I think we retreat again, waiting for more re reinforcements to show up. This army's gonna take care of Quesser. So these guys are gonna go to here. This army gets just a little smaller or weaker, we might be able to... Might be able to stop that siege from falling. Or I do want to maybe have, like, an army adjacent in case the fort falls. Maybe we can get it back quickly. Got 20 troops on that side now. 42%. We're gonna keep it. Did keep it. I can overrun that artillery by using the boat. Except that he's got another army there now. And they are leaving. And zone of control is being returned. I don't want to lose control of Suez because we've got the scorched earth there. This army just needs to get up here. Mm 
I think I might need to just go try to take this fight. Seventh and the seventh. Got our six five there. Yeah, we have to we have to try to take that fort. That fort has a lot of value because I did scorch it. This army can actually stay here. Because I'm gonna use the boats in a moment to bring them over very quickly. And we're gonna go full on pile in mode into that fort. Suddenly, there's a lot of pate troops. Saved. And we've got the ticking war score. Okay, his enthusiasm is here. He still has Ottomans is making gains. It'll take like two more months for that to go away. We are completely out of manpower now. We've got to consolidate these infantry so that we can actually reinforce our artillery and stuff. Um, um. Just reinforcing the overall troop counts of these ones that I had to go down on a little bit. Okay, we have lost 106,000 to their 153,000. We are not at the war score cap for the thing. Um, our PP is still above 50, but... You guys heading into Sinai and Gaza. Who is actually moving on us? The Zanas? On the 7th? We're going to be in Aqaba on the 13th of June. Do, 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 do. I think we want to not fight him. This war is not going that well. True. Yeah. Well, throwing away the 26 stack to try to showcase like a black flag type thing that you can do is not really the smartest decision that I made. Ottomans is making gains plus five will go away soon. Um, another fight or two to get our get a little bit of war score from battles might be enough. That's heading back into Al Karak. A leaderless stack moving into Al Karak. This is actually the same place that we fought, isn't it? When we were uh, playing as so. Like this exact location, I feel like. If he commits a large number of troops there with no leader, then we're definitely going in. Let's swap Gouger to here. Let's have Tabes go here. Well, I mean, it it works like this because it it's effective, right? It doesn't really surprise me that we keep going here. I think I did. I actually even declare war for Questor. I, I think as so, we do need to keep that occupation. Do we have Ottomans? Is now yeah. So now it's Pate is making gains minus ten. For Eighty reasons away. There is a active battle. I think in that list. No, actually. Oh, there it is. Negative eleven. Bum, 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 bum. Are we actually reinforcing in fast? Uh, in time? 30th of August? 30th of August? Oh, it's because I shift col I, I told him to go all the way down there. Right. 1st of August. That makes more sense. That's a whole extra week that we've got to wait. We're, we'll probably end up with artillery in the front row again. Darn it. Bum, 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 bum. That gave them an extra siege tick. Gotta throw these troops in. Meat grinder again. Need to get the war goal back. Last time we had marines to help. Yeah, 
And we've got artillery in the front row. That was okay. All right, I think I think that we have to acknowledge that the Ottomans are actually still pretty strong at the moment. They are down to no manpower, but so are we. We're at negative twelve thousand at the moment. Um. They have 110. Yeah, we uh, we started the war with higher discipline, but now they have higher discipline. We had 115 at the start from a from an event. They have more morale, higher discipline. They have infantry combat ability because they do have quality ideas. They are behind on mil tech, but it's just they've got so much more manpower pool than us. 2,700 per month is a lot. 2.7x our manpower recovery rate, and I killed 80,000 troops on a monument before. Deciding to attack the Ottomans. Just. And then I killed another 26,000 up here. Just. Yeah. So, um. I think what we want to do is probably. Get control of the war goal again and reevaluate what we can actually accomplish in this war. Someone's ringing my doorbell multiple times. Stop it. Bum, bum, bum. Could hire a Merc stack. Yeah, Merc's costing 5% professionalism pretty much dissuades me from doing that. Bum, 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 bum. The fact that we're missing out on this click because I can't seize land at the moment is also motivating me to want to go to peace. He has some troops heading into Aqaba. We can use... I want to reset that siege. Even though this is going to be costly, I think what we're going to do is... Shift consolidate all the armies down so that we have as, mo as much combat ability as we can. And then we're going to auto transport the whole army into Aqaba if I can get there fast enough. We'll be there on the 24th and the 27th and the 17th. Damn, I only have two days. But not enough time. Alright, we gotta get the Warble back. We're gonna hit the military point cap soon. I'm going to threaten to go here again, but I don't actually want to. He is reinforcing to Elk Rock. We will go here and then just chill. Do, do, do. All right, um, yeah, I'm going to get the ticking war score back and then I'm going to probably end up piecing out here. I don't see an easy solution to this problem. We have too many military points at the moment. Classic problem for us is my can be developed. Good price. Okay. That's reasonable. Lost six PP since war started. Well, we had declared war on Ottomans plus 10 when we declared, and yeah. But, I mean, what did we gain out of it? We went from 51.8 army tradition to 74. Like, we're trading manpower for power. It's unfortunate that we're not going to actually, like, win this uh, the way that I wanted to, but... If we create a battle over here, it might make him pull all these troops around, and then I can possibly still save that siege.
takes us 18 days. 19 days. Each siege phase is in 18 days, and yet there are 19 days left. How? How does that work? He'll be in Razgarib on the 19th of December. That is 11 days away. So we don't get our siege in time, and we can't run in this direction. I can't send troops there. Okay, he doesn't actually want to take the fight. Let's put all of the army on this side, see if it influences moving around. Lost that fort. I'm going to wait for him to stop having the making gains and again reevaluate the peace deal, I think. Um. We have tier six. It's time to choose to stop being a tribe thing. Can the, the streamer save this run? <laughs> How much manpower do the Ottomans have right now? They are down to... 1,372 and 10 mercs. They have taken no loans yet. They are still below us in income, but not by much. It does suck. It does suck to do this much, like, effort and be this close to breaking them and winning. But I still feel like this was fine. We, we got power projection above 50 for this entire duration of the war. That's three monarch points a month for how long have we been fighting? Since 34, over the last seven years. Seven years times 12 months times three. That's 252 monarch points that we got. We got like 25 army tradition. Um, you know. And then also you've got to consider that what would the Ottomans have been doing over the last seven years if they weren't fighting us? You know? Why not hire mercs? Because... <sighs> Alright, let's 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 think about it. I don't think it's the correct play, but let's talk about why I don't think it's the correct play. So for 5% professionalism, we could get a 30... a 40 stack. It's pretty much, for me, just all down to the professionalism cost of hiring the stacks. Right? We don't need the generals. It's not about the money. It's about the professionalism. 5% professionalism. I would be more likely to burn my professionalism by slackening recruit recruiting standards than I would to hire mercs. That argument's not valid because you could also have used, used these seven years ourselves. And the players can always do... Player can always do things better than Ottomans. Um, that's fair. I mean, we could have been fighting much easier wars. You're right. Would you trade 3.5k and war reps for 5% 5 5 professionalism? The thing is, we're not we're not actually close to that peace deal. So it's not really a fair fair evaluation. We're currently at negative 150 reasons because Ottomans temporarily think they're making gains, and the demands exceed war score. Um, in order to get him to agree, he would have to go down to low enthusiasm, which he is, without the Ottomans is making gains, 53 minus 45, he's at 8. If it spikes back up to us making gains like plus 10, he might go down to low. We, he would have to be on low, and we'd probably need 25 to 30-ish war score to get a 35% peace deal. The formula for, like, acceptance is... Once they're down to low, you can send a peace offer equal to their, uh, e equal to your war score, um, plus their negative enthusiasm, right? So, like, if they have negative eight enthusiasm and you have thirty war score, you can do about a thirty-eight percent peace deal. Um. 
Length of War is continuing to tick. It always ticks. We're gaining 0.75 Length of War modifier for reasons for peace each month. So... Three every four months. And... Picking War Score can still go up by another 10. Really more like 11, because the 14.8 doesn't round. It, it just gives you the 14. So... It's a good question to ask. Would would 5% professionalism win us the war? If I had another 40 stack right now, instead of what we currently have, and another 80,000 manpower pool in the Merc stack, would that actually be enough to hold this long enough to delay? I don't think one would be enough. I think it'd be more than one. When is it worth the professionalism hit? From, from my perspective, almost never. Professionalism is one of those things, it's like... It takes you so much time and effort to build it up... That... You know, when, once you have it, it is amazing. The, the army drill gain modifier plus 100% when you're at max professionalism makes it so that you, like, almost always have full drill. Full drill! Keep in mind, full drill is 20% movement speed. Um... 10% land fire damage, 10% land shock damage, minus 25% shock, shock and fire damage received. Minus 25. Show me a military idea group that says take 25% less damage. It's crazy. It's so strong. The 20% movement speed also affects your ability to outmaneuver the AI. So, like, I just really like... I really like professionalism. I want to build it up. I need some more water. I'm gonna think for a sec. Yeah, I think it would probably take... It would take this large independent army. We'd probably have to hire this one as well. And that's only a 27 stack. We had those, that'd be 40,000 plus 27,000. So 60... 67,000 more troops to basically offset that stack. And then our stack is like 56, 57 or something right now. With 8,000 more needed soon. Bum, bum, bum. Um, I don't think we sack 10% professionalism to keep fighting this war. I think it's better to just wait until the... Wait until making gains 40, 45 goes away and flips to us making gains because we retook the war goal. And then we peace out for whatever we can get. And then we come back and fight him again in five or six years or whatever. And we'll be just a lot stronger at that point because... If we were at peace right now, I could I could afford to do sale of titles plus seize land, which means we would still have enough money to upgrade the monument, and once the monument's upgraded, I can fix our privileges and stuff, and get more manpower back and whatever, and... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we need to push, so we're gonna just chill for a sec. I will take this fight here. Foreign spy detection or spy network speed. We'll take spy speed. Also, we gotta decide what we're doing about this uh, government thing. Ba -ba -bum -bum. I like how this um, doesn't cost stab anymore, but you, I don't, I really don't like the loss of four government reforms. Maybe we shouldn't click this at all. Because again, like we were talking about, if we form the Mughals or whatever, it'll make us a monarchy and then we don't lose the reforms, right? It's a free free flip. That's a ton of government reforms. So I guess for now we take this one. Would we also keep the two, 200, two, 
Two six zero points. Well, if we click one of these right now, we would be on tier six, so we would downgrade to a tier two of whatever else. Yeah, they'll keep building over the cap. I think we'll do this one. Okay, he's down to 6 Enthusiasm, Pate is making gains minus 7, 3 from ongoing battles, so we're 3 or 4-ish away from him potentially being on low. Fazan is on 3. Picking him out of the war doesn't do much, but we might want to do that. Bum, bum, bum. He's moving here with his stack. He'll be in Al Waj on the 17th. We could be there on the 13th and 17th. Might want to scorch this and shift the whole army back over again. I think I will. I'm looking at that 10 stack and thinking about boat bombing it. And he decided against that, okay. Bum, 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 bum. They're coming into Sinai. We're gonna lose control of this fort. It's just 12, or 12 cav, nothing else. Interesting. Look, my whole army's on this side. Go, go back up into one of those forts, please. Um, he's on one. Eight is making gains, won't last forever. Next monthly tick, we do get one more war score, which would actually put him on low. So, basically, again, following that formula, once he's on low, we can basically do a 14 or 15% peace deal. That's pretty much what we're pushing for right now. We're definitely attacking that 0-2 in Al Waj, Waj on the 12th of April. Wait till he's locked. Oh, please tell me he gets locked. It's gonna take him even longer now. I'm gonna wait until he is like right next to it. Actually, I think we do. 30th. I have time. I have time to spook him off of this. Hopefully. Herman or Dusu is the one that's movement locked. That's the top army. The other two could still turn around if they see more reinforcements here. For 15 war score, he's on zero enthusiasm now. But we could accept a peace deal right now for this, but we're going to push for like one more little bit. Bum, 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 bum. Battle on the 30th of April. Thirtieth of April is in 18 days, and then he'll have reinforcements in a week. I don't think we can beat that. So yeah, we'll go back over here. But what this did do is get his whole army together. We're actually going to make it in time? I think so. Suffer that attrition, you dum-dum. Competition for innovativeness with Mill Tech. We'll take this in January then. We lost our Pate is making gains modifier, so he's back up to five. Near maximum power. Hmm. We have no room for governing capacity, so I think I'm going to not expand infrastructure. Even though I hate doing development without it being on. Um, 
For the final push, I think what we're going to do is run this whole army to Cairo. And see if we can Siege Race, potentially? No. Cairo is worth more war score. 4% versus 20%. If we trade, we end up with more overall war score. Make sure our four Siege Pip guys there. Definitely a barrage type situation. Yeah! Whoa! What did he do? Honestly, I might also assault. If there's a threat. Got 17 day siege ticks. Just hold. Hold. Hold and fall. Fall? Damn. Hold? Alright, so he's gonna take this fight. I think we trade an assault and then peace out. Boom, ba boom. Okay, 24 war score. Still not actually low enthusiasm. I guess me assaulting affected his perception of relative strength of the Alliance. Why would you not become a horde? Because we lose four government reforms. And because being a horde's nothing particularly amazing. Uh, let's see. I wish we should just get out. I, I would love to push for more. Yeah, there's so much more available, but assaulting that just actually cost me money because he was willing to agree for more a second ago. Ba -bum, bum, bum, bum. Takes three more months before we get war score from the ticking war score, so... Yeah, let's get out. Money. Tiny bit of money plus war reps. It's not much. But it's enough. Next time will be different. You'll see. Next time he'll have caught up on tech and finished his ID group as well, though. Be careful that we don't get unblack flagged. We'll have one of these stacks get auto transported home. Um. And our PP small. Thatch. Uh, we are taking tech in January, so I would like to not piss off the Dimmy just yet. Let's wait on this click till January. And in the meantime, we can re-up our insult for another two power projection. We can potentially subsidize rival people that are at war and stuff. I have a truce with the Ottomans though, so I can't re-up my scornful insult on him. Crap. Bum, ba, ba, bum, bum. We can support rebels. That would give power projection. Two whole power projection. Wow. Three. I think it gives like a minimum of one. Whatever. One is enough. One will work. Heroic victory. It was not as good of a war as I thought it would be, sadly. Ottomans are preparing to attack the Mamluks again. I enjoy raiding. Hey, Budget Monk, thank you for your raid. How is everybody doing? We're doing a third way one faith run. Happy day. Losing control of the south, lose mandate. Decline of the Emirs. Okay, so we almost have enough cash to get to the level 3 monument. 
That'll happen in January. We should be spying on the Spanish so that I can maybe get some some stuff from them as well. You know what? I think this army is actually going to go over to here. We need, we need to do some focused Moogle pushing, I think. Having so much fun doing your run? What is your run? What are you, uh, what you up to? Moen Crap? Moen Crap is paying forward the gift sub that they got from Con Constantine Wolfrunner to Budget Monk. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm curious to see what other people are doing. Um, bum bum bum. We have another trade company province here, I think, that I should do. And it's January 1st, so we can take tech. In our innovativeness. No innovativeness here or here. Don't need to take tech for a few years. Better units. We will take the... We want the shock pips. And we also want the offensive morale pip. Take the forest warriors. Now do this. And we can now do this. 4,820. It's expensive. And it's going to take for goddamn ever. I want it right now. Bum, 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 bum. I'm trying to check. Okay. Budget. Budget, you didn't tell me what you're doing. What are you doing? What are you up to? What is in your run? The world wants to know. I want to know. Let's ferry this army over to here as well. We have no war exhaustion due to optimism. Plutocratic coup is getting concerning. That's one of the reasons why I'm pushing to get this monument finished. We have like no manpower still and I need to rebuild the army and we also lost a lot of our drill, but just like the Ottomans, it does make sense to Potentially just turn around and immediately attack somebody. Are you willing to accept a threat? Sadly, no. You're allied with Kazembe. Bum, bum, bum. I have been doing not much with my... All my relationship slots and stuff. We need more diplomats. Crazy run because the only way Rome can form is by the player. Arumba, hello. Habibi, what did I miss? Habibi? Is Habibi here? This run is cool, nice to see. I must say though, it's time for a drunk CK2 or CK3 stream. I'm trying to not get drunk as often, but I can see the appeal. Okay, almost have this thing. I'm gonna just chill for a little while and try to get our manpower back a little bit. Um, we're gonna end up suffering attrition if I have two armies over here. I think actually I wanna auto transport this army. Just like walk it down to here instead. Let's get our drill back up a little bit. Rebuild some of our troops. We just died, plus four, Babby the first, Nabhan, 652, is now in charge. No air, though. That means we just lost all of our legalism right before taking Ebon and Diplotech. Whoops. Bum, bum, bum. And for the first time, we do have five Diplo skills, so we have access to the Islamic Center of Scholarly Learning. 25 legalism, 5% tech cost, and bonus missionary strength. Turns out having Diplo skills, good. Force Religious Unity. Uh, no. This one. We'll turn this off. Okay. A bibi means friend. Oh! I thought that that was, uh, just like a reference to Absolute Habibi. So his name means Absolute Friend? Kind of cool. Um, um, 
It's been a long time since we've attacked this guy, and he probably has no friends, and our subject has claims on pretty much all of them. I would like to clean this up and integrate Antimoro as well. Um, let's actually do that first. Why is this army taking so long to come home? Oh, you don't have any maneuver. Get tapes there instead. Watch our navy go right through open sea tiles, costing us attrition on our troops like crazy. Ugh, an auto-transport, man. Look, it's just going right through every fucking open sea tile. I'm annoyed. So dumb. Auto fleet transport needs an update. The artillery were fully reinforced, so I just lost, like, so many. Need to replace this artillery when we get some manpower. Um, um. At least we have no rebels, right? 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 Pretty much right, kind of. Almost at the admin point cap. I'm going to be continuing to do development clicks. Feels like now is maybe a good time to consider just doing dev cost in the whole country and dumping a lot of monarch points. There's no innovativeness to be gained from either of the two techs, and I just pissed off the dimmy, so I'm okay with falling behind on tech for a while. And doing a bunch of dev will also make us stronger. Obviously. Alternatively, of course, the admin points could be spent on coring, but that would require us to actually win our wars. We don't do that here. We don't have positive stability for prosperity growth. We should do that. Well. Bum, bum. All right, so we've got that on everywhere. Let's go ahead and do some clicks. And we'll spend all of our Diplo clicks as well. Maybe I should have saved some of those points so that I could actually get the gold mine. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. It's reasonable to dev here. Uh, this one. This one. All right, monarch points aren't a problem anymore. Yay! Bum, 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 bum. Is that island between the East African coast and Madagascar yours, or is it still uncolonized? This is still uncolonized. Comoros. We colonize this one over here. And it looks like Spain has decided to settle here. And also here. And, uh, wouldn't be surprised if he's gonna start getting into all the stuff soon. Bum, bum, bum. I just need this monument. I need to get the monument thing done and move on. Aster Pate has more dev. Vassalize Ajaron. Increase the size of the trade company. Fire Sabo Setia. Fire our inflation advisor. Okay. I'm fine with that. No reason to be running this guy. We don't have good discounts to advisor costs anymore. We're only at 31% right now. So, that is fine. What does the monument do? The monument is the Mabanza Congo. Level 3 gives us access to an extra 
reform progress growth over level 2. Institution spread in true faith provinces plus 50, yearly legitimacy plus 1. And then the most important part to me is the allow estate privileges to be revoked regardless of loyalty and influence. So we can fix some of the privileges not being what I want. Just the rebels, sir. They're thinking about being here, the Congolese. That's oh, annoying, they're over here. Gross. Do do do. Need to cancel some of my military access requests that are all over the place. Bum, bum. I think, yeah, I think that we... We need to make a concerted effort to either shut down colonizers or form the Mughals, and it probably makes more sense to do the Mughals first, because we get stronger that way, and because it's just... It's easier, right? Like, the Ottomans were a little bit harder than I thought that they would be. So we'll continue to expand in, in the direction of weakest resistance for a little while longer and then come back and fight the Ottomans. I just got so annoyed with having no power projection for so long that I... Dang it, I can't move the army because one of these guys is trying to reinforce while we were drilling. Of course. Of course. Got everybody drilling? You're not drilling. We have a babby. Please be good. That's a negative one babby. That's a dead baby. Quick, quick, Jimmy. Tell your, your favorite dead baby jokes. He does have five Diplo skill, which is kind of important, but he's still a negative baby. So, eat. I'm gonna get access through here, and Congo doesn't want to give me access still. What a jerk. He will soon. Mm -hmm. Alton plus four Babby is a... Wow, he just picked up two traits. He's cruel and naive enthusiast. Sweet. Great traits. Monument. Monument is done. We can revoke stuff. Yay! We can finally get rid of this crap. Alright, this is going. They will still cause rebellions. Unlike with the tier two puppet the nobility government reform, when you have espionage ideas and you are a monarchy, that one does the same thing as the monument. It allows you to revoke, regardless of estate privileges, uh, regardless of estate loyalty and um, influence. But it also has a line in there about does not lose, like they won't rise up. The nobles won't rise up. And what it actually means is none of the estates will rise up, not just the nobles. But this monument doesn't give us that part. So if you take them below uh, 30 loyalty when doing the revokes, it will it will matter. We turned this on a long time ago for missionary strength. I think this is the one that gives us an extra 10% production efficiency, tax modifier, and manpower in provinces that are our culture or our religion or whatever, whatever the requirements are. It costs five crown land to grant, but I don't think it's actually that useful to us anymore. Also, we need a few more clicks to fix the thing. Let's get rid of that. The Amirs, I want to get rid of... Colony cost modifier, minus 28%. It's not that impactful when you only have one guy. I think we'll turn this one off, actually. I was excited about it, but I don't need it. I would rather have the manpower again. With that. With the clergy, we wanted to turn this on because this allows us to have more native assimilation. 
instead of what we have right now. We have 50% from the privilege, and then we can do another click that gives us another 50. And then if we want to pay a stab point, we could switch this then. So we actually could get up to 150% increased native assimilation. Just kind of useful. Not that we colonize much. We're over our governing capacity because I dev too much. Whoops. Whoopsie. We're not dubbing here anymore. Probably not dubbing here anymore either. It does still affect goods produced, so I don't like walking it back, but whatever. With a dimmy, um, I do need them to be loyal in about two years. Do we hold off on revoking anything from them right now? Now that we have space with the clergy, we can turn this on, which is useful. Three explorers and whatever. Um, they are still building, right? Maybe we leave this unassigned for a little bit. If I wait like 68 months, we can get this all the way down to zero. Granted, we have the monarch, uh, the monument now, so I can always prevent a rebellion, but it would be kind of nice to not have to worry about that anymore. Mm hmm. Five percent settler chance is a lot. I think we need this. I'm not worried about the disaster building up too much. A five maneuver explorer. You've just gotten replaced, twenty phalanges. Sorry. Let's have you actually go explore then. Monument. Monument. Shame that I killed the baby when I did, because we could have just gained monarch points. Find three fully repaired barks. Get 20 phalanges and see if there's anything else for us to explore now. Not worried about the disaster. The burgers will become loyal soon enough. Um... The Ulima, I think I will turn this on. And am I, am I willing to spend 100 admin points to increase native assimilation by 50%? Probably. Although we kind of need the points for tech right now. We cost 457 minus 120. Hold off on it. Okay to have extra native uprising reduction. This burger disaster is so gonna fire. As soon as I get above 50, I'm gonna revoke something else, I think. Probably this one. We don't benefit from the interest per annum. I don't have inflation to buy down. And uh state maintenance minus up to 25 is quite nice, but we're not paying that much in state maintenance anymore, really, so. Okay, I want to do this war after dealing with these rebels. This army needs to go as far over there as it can. Congo is going to give us access now. Let's have you here fight the rebels. We can slowly start rebuilding this army. We need two. Um, um, 1,001 men powers per month, ooey. I can keep doing mill dev, and I need another like four-ish clicks, three or four clicks, to get our crown land back above 20. So let us do that. Um, one more click. There's the rebels. Let's have our maneuver guy go there instead, so we suffer a little bit less attrition on the walk over. Did I build a fort here? Built a fort in Nagoyo. Okay. Yeah, to fully rebuild the army, I need a lot more manpower still. Are we going to suffer attrition anywhere in here? No. Good. Maneuver's good. 
Are we still running manpower edicts? No, I switched over to all dev cost edicts. The whole, the whole country has dev cost because we we just dumped all of our monarch points into dev. One more mill click and crown land above 20. Cool. Our average autonomy is at 29%. Probably places I could lower it. Oh, apparently not. Sure would be nice to be better at colonizing. Now that's a babby. Wow. Three, four, five, six. That's a plus six babby. Hot damn. Wow. Wow. We're making up for our shit babbies in the beginning of the game. Unfortunately, one Diplo skill away from getting um, Islamic Center for Scholarly Learning. Too bad. Unfortunate. Is what it is. Sir, I would like you to give me land. He says no. What about someone up here? You guys are scared, right? No? No? Damn. Why aren't we stronger? It'd be more imposing and terrifying or something. PP barely above 50 still. I don't like that the Ulima are also building up their disaster very slowly. Mm -hmm. They do trend well. We're not doing many conversions right now. We just get rid of this. Do that. There goes that problem. And once the murders are at 50, we can revoke something from them as well. Please, you fools. As far as the diplomats go, uh, I need to improve with this guy. And... Bum, 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 bum. Bum. I'm integrating this guy. He's almost gone. Would have been nice to be able to use his claims. But I've been just busy doing stuff. In fact, now if I threaten, I get the land. But he won't have he won't have a core, so I don't, won't get a core. I'll still have to core it myself, and we kind of need the admin points for other things right now. Is India next war? Yes, we're going kind of slowly. Well, yeah, the Ottoman war definitely slowed things down for sure. Sorry, as I was saying earlier, you don't always have to. You know, it's okay to make mistakes sometimes. We'll still get the achievement. Never worry. Never fear. It's just the rebels, sir. That, yeah. He is still trying to conquist. You only get one province when you conquer these these types of natives now, right? I think there was like a bug or kind of exploitative thing you could do where you got all the land in one thing. It would be very nice to not have to attack the overlords of those colonies if we moved our capital to the New World or to Australia. Burgers are at 79% on their disaster, but we're going to revoke something from them in two months. I think there was a center trade there. Yes, indeed. Have I upgraded all the centers? This one can't be upgraded because it doesn't have enough development. Okay. Now it can. Bum, bum, bum. We could benefit from a manpower state for sure.
I don't like doing dev in colonial in a uh, trade company land. Just to get them on, just to get the uh, natural harbor upgraded. Conquest is very doable. Uh, one faith, I don't know. You really don't think we're gonna get the achievement? Like honestly, you doubt? Doubters in chat? In my chat, doubting? What is this A center for? Doubters? I don't know, words? Right, I can't tell if it's it or not. Oh, because boredom is a powerful drug. I see, I see, I see. Let's get rid of this one now. And there goes the disaster. No problems. Easy peasy. Manpower is still low, but we're fixing it. Um, 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 um. I want you to stop transferring trade power to me. We're going to finally finish you off. Do, 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 do. Got a three siege ship guy here. Let's have Gouger come here instead. Have this guy be up here. There's 69 army tradition. We don't have room for more generals. We're ahead of time on Miltech by a lot. I would like to roll a few generals. I don't like that our power projection is small, and I can't fix it easily. Ottomans do have control of Alexandria a little. They also have control in this node. Do they? Yeah, so they're the largest controller of the node. We private tier there, we could get a little bit of power projection. Let's pull off like 25 ships and see if that's enough. There we go. Take care of that problem for a while. Probably cost us money because the privateering is not as effective, but. It is still going to be fine and good. This island is it just takes so freaking long to move in. Not sure why. Um. Alright. Um, I'm going to try to vassalize these guys rather than have to attack them all. We have no power projection concerns, but I just don't like that I'm wasting my kind of ridiculous seven relationship slots right now. Monsoon stuff. Is that what makes it slow? Tropical. I don't see a monsoon effect. It could be. It could be that there's a monsoon like happening sometimes. Our subject did not claim every province, even though we told him to, so that's annoying, but we will full annex. Trade for the medicine, or lose admin points. Those admin points are not worth 500 gold. Mm. I am planning to integrate this guy, so we'll spread the cost out between dip and admin. We'll take one of these provinces over here. Although, there'd only be one rebellion if I leave it in his control, so let's have him take it. This guy can die. And as soon as we get this guy to 190, we'll integrate him.
Lamvrindia? Yep, I think so. I'm still just drilling. We're back up to 10,000 manpower. We are showing a disaster again, but not really. That's kind of funny. It was actually going down, but here it says plus 1.5. <laughs> nice alert. Super, super useful. <laughs> super confusing, more like. This army needs another five infantry. This army has enough. Just want to keep building infantry. If we were to fight over here, who would we attack? What do we specifically need to actually form the Mughals? I should look that up. Formation. Special requirements. Was never an end, na end nation tag. Can't have done it. Is not a colonial nation. Can't be the Celestial Empire. Need to change our culture to the Iranian group. We're not an AI-controlled nation. Mughals can't exist. We need four provinces of Delhi and either Doaba, Lahore, or Central Doab. That's not very many provinces. All right, so I'm going to mark those down. Delhi. Boom. Boom, boom. We need Delhi. We need Doaba. Doaba or Lahore or Central Doab. Where's Central Doab? So if I just take these two? Really? That can't be all you need to form the Mughals. That's so small. That's two frickin' provinces, you know? And enough land in Iran to culture convert? Yeah. But you can cheese that by just destating stuff, if you had to. Alright, so we want to get motivated to get in. Basically, we have to have Delhi, so like, Jumper is the target, really. A war against Mewar gets us against Bahmanis, but we could snake our way over to what we need. A war against Gujarat makes us fight Jumper. Bahmanis is on tech. 9, Orissa on 9, Mewar on 8. So, Jumper's got slightly better tech. I like the look of the Mewar War. To get over there. So it looks like we need to fabricate a claim on Mewar. We don't actually have a claim up in that area. What is Iranian? Iranian is the Iranian culture group. I believe that's this one. Isn't it? But yeah, the province requirements is only just a couple provinces, but you've got to be part of the adjacent culture group. We we'll want to take a bunch of this type of clay as well. Based on development, I mean, Persian is probably the one we want to do. Plus, isn't there a special reform, like having Persian culture, that we were talking about when we were doing our colonial, uh, sorry, our custom nation game? Um, I'm not allowed to just, like, charter a province from you, am I? Guilds strengthened. We are almost able to trade, car trade charter regional skepticism. I don't know where that modifier comes from. Hmm. That's probably going to be the easier way to get involved up into this area since I, I don't have claims ordering claims anymore and we don't have any claims near it. 
Um, um. Your subject. I could take a less good province that's further away, to make it a lot cheaper. Just take like Dashistan, Dash, 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 but in this land, we won't want to make it into a trade company because we need to do the culture conversion stuff, don't we? Interesting. I guess we're going to buy, buy a trade company to get access, and then we're going to untrade company it. <laughs> we vassalize Bluchistan. He has currently negative 34 reasons, mostly due to distance between borders. An option, yeah. I feel like I need more diplomats. And take our tech. We are only paying 239 points. That's not too bad. We have access to state houses now. Forget what state houses are supposed to be built in again. Paper, glass, gems. I'm going to build it in every gem province that I can right now. Paper. We don't have any paper. We don't have any glass. So beyond that, it's just wherever we can fit it. Save seven in ape. I only have one province there. Is that worth 300 gold? Probably not. We are having governing capacity problems, slightly. Get our merchants on. Um, it is currently converting something. But I don't know if that matters as much as utilizing the current diplomats that we have as effectively as I can. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Just having a nice relaxing game. And tomorrow, are you going to have rebels? And if so, how soon? Butuan separatists are going to be mad in Butua. Why are they always mad? Let's suppress these away because we are out of manpower. One hundred years passed. Are you happy with our current progress? We started as a one province miner with no friends and no other, like two other countries with our religion. We didn't even have the, our religion in our own province, and we're the number one income earning country in the game. So yeah, I I think that once you get to the position where you are making more money than anyone else, this is not the best indicator for how strong you are. Like. Just because they have more dev right now doesn't matter. We make more money. That means we win. Money is the best indicator for power. Because money can be turned into monarch points or manpower or whatever else you need it to be. Um, it means that you're going to have... Just It's just better. The fact that we're making more than the Ottomans is enough. I would like to get a... 
extra merchant from this chartered company, which is the Guinea Company. For 29%, so I already have the level 2, this thing. Um, guess we keep on filling in centers of trade, although we could just fill in more of this state since it's already got... Like, that's a lot, that's four, five extra trade power, but this is already giving four to every province in this state, so we're basically the same. Basically. Benin is a good province, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Build marketplaces here. Just showing that it can't build a building because the colony just finished. Gotta wait a month for some reason. Lose 20 army tradition. Gross. 20 army tradition is kind of a lot, and we don't generate it super great. I think I'd actually lose stab for that. It's navy? Oh shit. I just like the way the symbols go, Wii U, or whatever that line is to, you know. Shut up, Jimmy. Why do we actually not have any building slots? I'm confused. Center of trade maximum 10. Development gives zero. Like for real, like how do you have how do we have a province with no building slots at all? I think the minimum is one. City gives plus two. What's going on here, game? Okay. Just needed the monthly tick. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I thought a month had already gone by. That's why I was getting confused. Okay, um, let's have this guy go to... I want to I want to use auto fleet transport, but I know it's going to go right through. It didn't. Oh, it's not going to go through the stupid sea tiles. Amazing. That's amazing. Cool. We almost have our claim. There is a monument we could start upgrading now that does give us cheaper cost to fabricate claims. Up to 30%. So that takes the first claim from 20 down to 14. Sort of helps the lack of diplomats situation that we're in. I bet most of the other rebels are in this area. It'd be nice if I could actually suppress across this uncolonized land. We would have to actually settle the land for that though. I don't really want to colonize in there. We probably are going to need to go expansion ideas just to fill in the world faster. Bum. We have an institution spawning in five years. Bum, bum, bum. I'm not sure if we have room to go espionage. Like... We're almost certainly going to need religious. We have five more idea groups, potentially, right? So, if Religious is one, Espionage is another, Expansion is a third, I guess we... we could. We could. And Espionage does give Rebel a uh, Spy Network discount and... Sorry, yeah, Spy Network discount plus more Diplomats, plus Advisor Cross discount, plus Siege Ability. It, it does. I mean, innovative offensive espionage is just the holy, holy grail. But I kind of feel like we need expansion ideas first. Bum, bum, bum. Three more months, we'll have our claim on this guy. I do want to be improving with Baluchistan. Rudder Bad Wolf, thank you for your raid. We're trying to get this guy to 190 so we can integrate him. Um, we're trying to get Fars maxed out so that we can buy a province from him and get into the Iranian group. Um, I just need you at like 165. I can still send him a gift. Good roll marriage.
We do. So be it. You'd love to see them colored in. I know, I know. We just don't have the colonists. You know, we only have the one colonist and... There's just too many other things that we can spend money on that are useful. Ottomans stopped being a valid rival. And apparently not because we upgraded. Or got too strong for him. Did he... I mean, he's not really ahead of us on tech. He now rival Commonwealth and Russia. Okay. Well, that means we can re-up our, cons our uh, Scornful Insult. Maketa gets Abandoned Mounds, Hostile Movement Speed, or Leave Them Be. 50% chance for dirt, 50% chance for a meager amount of gold. Take the Abin points, please. Legalism. There is our claim on here. We are back to 75 of the thing. Mm -hmm. He ate Mamluks? It's probably because we don't border him. That means that the ships that we're doing privateering here can go back to protecting trade. We need to make the new colony into part of the trade company. Take Diplotech. Okay. We don't need the Demi to be loyal for a long time now. Is there anything we want to revoke? I'm not benefiting from the religious unity at all, so this doesn't need to exist. There's something better related to colonization or something. Every owned province not of Muslim faith gains local manpower. Hmm. Probably looking at just doing like Dimmy land rights as soon as we have available crown land. So we've got our claim on Miwar. Miwar has 16k troops. There's going to be a lot of people that fight. Um, before we do the war, I want to buy a province from Fars if I can. And he is maxed out right now. We're going to get him maxed out. We're going to do great power influence on him. You, I want to send a gift to so we can start integrating. Also, I, I remember noticing that I can offer knowledge and I have forgot to actually offer knowledge to anybody. Money is money. I like money. I don't care if he gets caught up on tech. He's gonna get it eventually anyway, right? We do want to improve with Baluchistan and make a vassal. So Fars is the last thing I'm waiting for to potentially... before we declare a war. And of course he's at war, so I can't do it. Perfect. Perfect. You just scrape power influence to you. I did all this effort. Fine. Problem is, if we do this war and then we take Thada, we'll be closer and then we probably can't do it. If we vassalize Bluchistan, we can get into Fars. Okay. This is fine. Is one army enough? Mm, no. We'll need two. Troubles are pretty much dealt with. Let's wait for the second army. Just, I don't want to have another... I don't want to underestimate our opponents again. And then get punished for it, you know? I like money. What are we going to do with all this money? Time to maybe consider upgrading this one for the uh, potential legalism piety thing. 
This also gives institution growth, and we are coming up on the institution, so probably. Probably makes sense. Yes, I think. I don't have enough development in this state, though, or adjacent, to have 10% of our overall development. I need like 80-ish development around this area, just to have 10%. So having that base 0.5 institution growth doesn't really do much for me, does it? It will actually work in both locations, though. We might want to conquer a little bit more clay in this state. Like, the whole state. Yeah, we actually have rivals. I totally forgot. We were going to insult this guy. And we were going to... Embargo here. Russia's in a war against Uzbek. We can get our power projection back above 50 with some subsidies to people. Takes a very long, very long time for these diplomats to get around, doesn't it? Spain's also in a war. Um, um, um. Take us to 50. My tooth is hurting again today. It's weird. It's like... It, if it hurt every day, I would have done something about it by now. But it only hurts sometimes. And so... I keep procrastinating, like, going to the dentist or something. Because it only hurts sometimes, you know? Army almost in position. Luchistan, I want you to not die, so let's actually ally you. Hopefully he doesn't get pulled into a war or anything. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, that is the army ready to go. Give Clay! I want Gouger here. It gives the clay or it gets the hose. This army's gonna just hang back and keep drilling. We got like 58 supply in our capital, so. Up to like that many. Well, marriage is fine. Need access through here, we have it. Get a run of that. Got a three siege pit leader here. Got the transports through the blockading. You got protection from the light ships. Kind of moving around and stuff as well. It's just the rebels, uh. Okay. Um. There's someone else we should also be trying to vassalize. Do, 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 do. I don't know. We can look for people who have been murdered a bit. Ayutthaya has gotten very small. And we could vassalize him if we colonize this island. Assuming that he doesn't have subjects, but he does. But he might not. Vassalize the Mamluks? Mm. Well, we own Mamluk core provinces and they have subjects of their own at the moment. They've still got Hejaz. Um, there is that argument to form the Mamluks ourselves, just to get Mamlukian cores on all of this land. But, I don't know what it takes to actually form... Mamluks. And I don't really want to research it. I kind of just want to play, you know? 
Okay, I decided we are going to upgrade this. Let's expand infrastructure. Let's start going. Okay, we've got a little bit of local institution growth now. That is the next big gold sink. Little Mosque, do Mildo, colonize the province, make someone likes. Let's get the manpower. You can vassalize the Mamluks through war. Yeah, that is fair. Um, I don't border the Mamluks anywhere, though. They've lost a lot of clay, and the Ottomans are going to Take a big chunk out of Ethiopia now. We need to get the Ottomans under control. This guy was non co belligerent. Um, I don't have provinces in his states. He doesn't have a center of trade. I don't think we want to pay for stuff that's not necessary, really. We'll just knock him out. Dang it. Once again, I don't have any diplomats. They're too far away, man. Gotta get going on Bahamas. Don't have access through Gujarat anymore, of course. Yeah, I'm being sneaky. Is it too late to release Byzantium? They've almost certainly lost their capital, the uh, the Constantinople core, but the Greek cores should still be around for a while. Till 1590, like 50 more years. Okay. Make the Ottomans like us, and we can get a half-price Diplo guy. Develop our capital with Diplo points. It would only cost like 230, but money. Or develop something much cheaper, and it'd get money. What do they want? Production. And our PP has become ensmalled again. I can still embargo Russia. Um, really struggling. Struggling to keep our PP up this, this campaign. Um, get a few more difficult points. Without the Missionary Strength Edict, we have only 0.7%. It's not worth trying to save. I like money. I can't believe you like money, too. Okay, level 2. Institution growth plus 0.25. Stab cost minus 10. Prestige from her development for missionary plus 0.2. And another 5,000 gold, huh? A Flory appears. Hey. Florian chat, classic Aruma game, owns 30 provinces, 100k troops, 100 rocket balance. Is that, do I only own 30? I have 71, sir. <laughs> Might not look like it, but I mean, I, I always make, I always make money. We've been making more money than anyone else in the game for like the last 50 or 60 years or 70 maybe. I don't know. We always make money. Don't worry, Ottomans, we're going to kick your ass soon. Unfortunately, the Dimmy no longer trend above 60 because I revoked that thing. Might make sense to reconsider uh, doing this now. I think I will just do it now. I want them trending to 60. And we do need governing capacity. Not right the second, but like, we will, you know, we always do. Our PP is so small. Austria was just re-elected. 
You always make bank, dude. Yeah. Even though, even though, Flory, I've got 20 forts. <laughs> We're paying 20 gold a month. <laughs> Are you still deleting all your forts? Um, we're... Ah, oh shit, I forgot to start integrating this guy. And I can't scooter him now. We need Florumba content again. I'm not unwilling to do more multiplayer stuff. If Flora wants to reach out on Discord or something, then we can maybe put something together again. Um, I need to get Orissa out. Might as well go fight Orissa's army. I want to get army tradition up to like 100 so we can roll a, a godlike set of generals before we fight the Ottomans again. Take trade efficiency. Why have 20 forts when you could have 20 loans? Because the forts give army tradition. Loans don't give army tradition. Not usually, at least. Maybe maybe if the loans allowed you to do battles or something, they, they would. Um. Okay, I don't care for Bahmanis' land at all, so... Get this transferred over. Aluchistan, I would like for you to have military access so that you like me, so that I can vassalize you. So that we can attack Fars. So that we can do stuff and things. I don't know. Made of beer. Here is your great power influence, sir. You don't do loans anymore? So now you can pay for forts? I know that you often, Flory, will do like runs that are based on specific rules, like not allowed to take any loans, not allowed to do whatever. But you you're saying just in general you don't use loans or don't need to? What's changed? Why do you, uh, why don't you use them? That used to be a huge part of your, your overall economy. <laughs> your whole economy was just being in debt, you know? Is Floyd Warrior in here? Yeah, he's talking right now. They halved all the interest modifiers. That is true, yeah. And they got rid of the floor. Or they rather, they created a floor. I remember when you could take interest below 1%. I always still didn't want to have loans, even, even if I could get low interest, though, because I don't like spending the admin points. You know, like, 0.1 inflation for taking a loan is still admin points. To, to buy that back is, you know, so... I like my monarch points. I like to do dev clicks. Have you seen the, the pdx.tools resource? We analyzed a couple of my, my save files over the last few runs, and it is ridiculous how many monarch points I spend on development. I do so many dev clicks. Apparently someone else beat us here. Fortunate. We don't get to get control of the Orissa Siege. Ahmanis. We could end the war, like, relatively quickly here. But I think we want to just siege all this stuff out for army tradition. We're up to 80.3 now. Beating up on the locals is good for business. You can all just stop talking to me. Not you, Jimmy. I'm talking about the people in game. Luchistan, uh, I offer you the privilege of being my vassal. He still says no, because we still have the distance between borders minus 54, but that will go away as soon as we win this war. Another general over here. You got room for more leaders? No. Not sure why these ships aren't doing anything. 
What is the song called? Uh, that. Lao Lao Tuno. Lao Tuno. Are you planning on intervening in the new world? We we originally thought that we were gonna have to do a a one tag because I'm I'm doing it as a body, right? Because I'm I'm just doing the third way. So while I'm doing the third way, I might as well just do one faith, right? But there's this issue where certain colonial nations can have estates, and if they have if, if they're in the Sunni religious group and they're a colonial nation that can have estates, then they'll turn on Dimi autonomy, which prevents you from converting provinces. But then, like two days ago, we realized that we can actually have colonial nations because as long as it's a crown colony, they don't get estates. So they can be a Dimi crown colony, and uh, we'll just have to pay whatever cost there is to flip all the Spanish and Portuguese and whatever colonies to crown colony, if they aren't crown colony. Um, what else? Dimmy suck male genitalia. No, I love the Dimmy. They're one of the best estates in the game, man. 10% all power costs is crazy good. It's like, it's like having... The Sunni religious group can get 35% all tech cost if they just go innovative ideas. It's ridiculous. So good. 35%. Such a big number. Ooh-wee. Where's my high price guy? That one? We need more advisor cost discounts. I need more monuments. Are there monuments in this region that we can take advantage of right now? As well? Hey, there, we, well, there you go! There you go! I, I, I just said I need more advisor cost discounts and there it just appears. Here's a thin air. Easy. Power projection from insults plus 100%. Point 0.3 piety accelerator. Damn. That really makes you move toward uh. 100%. Quick. That one's usable. 30% naval force limit would be sweet. Bum, ba -bum. Um, and then maybe if we get the this one, this is also advisor costs and can be used by anyone. So that's 40%. Because right now we only have minus 35, which is pretty trash. Okay, Arissa, you can go away. Um, that leaves this guy, who I just needed a advisor for earlier. Or, sorry, not an advisor, a uh, diplomat. We're spying on John Purge so that we have siege ability in a future upcoming war. So, sorry, I don't know if I finished my actual answer to you, Flory. Um, you wanted to know if we were going to intervene in the New World for the One Faith stuff. Um, so I'm planning on going with religious ideas, of course. But if we flip all the Crown Colonies, all, all the colonies into Crown Colonies, I'm fairly certain that we can just get the New World converted over the course of the campaign. We're going to end up with every monument at some point, so I'm not worried about missionary strength being an issue. Maybe I'm underestimating the risk or like how long it takes to actually convert the whole world. I haven't done the math on it, but... Um, I'm thinking we probably flip to theocracy at some point so that we can get more government reforms for missionary, missionary strength and stuff. But also, we're going to form the Mughals first. There's a chance we might form the Mamluks before we form the, the Mughals. We'll see. I don't know. There's a lot of different things we could do. The amount of provinces to convert is so much. Yeah, I feel the Muslim religious group has access to a lot of missionary strength-based monuments, I'm pretty sure. Gain missionary strength for a while. Speak of the devil. All inhabited provinces in the Congo trade node follow the Abadi faith. Seems like a lot of work. Colonize a province in this area. Mm -hmm. All provinces. I have to colonize both. It will take a while. Fire an advisor. Make the demi happy. Fire Yuhi. He's not the half price guy. I'm all for it. Sounds good. 
Get out of here. You suck. No one likes you. Okay, we'll run the inflation guy for now. Vassalizer Reconquest instead of forming. Vassalizer Reconquest is not as strong as, re as forming the Mamluks. Because we would still have to pay the Dipple skill, dip, Dipple points to integrate the Mamluks after re doing Reconquest. But it is a lot easier to do. Hopefully in the next war the Ottomans take like all of this and then Mamluks will be left with just this area. Because we are going to be into the sea tile soon and we could get access to the Mamluks that way. Bum, bum, bum. Damn it! Some fuckers coming in and stealing what I, my hard efforts. They blocked me from taking clay. I did all the hard work. Could have sent more troops and full occupied stuff. Just give up, Bahmanis. Why are you resisting? Why have you not flipped yet? I was sure you would have flipped long ago, over a hundred years. Flipped? Flipped to what? Flipped to... Two different tag. Um, we haven't had a formable yet. There's there's nothing that we were able to, to form. We're working on it right now. We're working on getting toward the Moogle stuff now. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here, Bahmanis. Silly goose. I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Can't hide. Found ya. Guess we're gonna have to spy on Delhi because he's gonna take a big chunk out of Mewar. Bum bum bum. Bye, Belushistan. That leaves this guy. Need to dip him out. I'm gonna wait for Delhi to end their war, annoyingly. the ticking war score because this jerk occupied the province. There's no army in the war anymore, so I guess we're gonna go and drill now while we wait. I don't need zone of control in colonial areas, but it would be nice to have a fort here. Just so that we don't have to deal with occupying uh, enemies coming and occupying things and stuff. I need to delete two buildings apparently to gain another building spot. I built a regimental camp here in a trade company? Really? I didn't build that. That must have been Gujarat who did it. It's only going to cost me, like, nothing, really. So, do... Ports. Why no Yoink Dev? Because Yoink Devs don't give Dev anymore. Once your capital's big. And our capital's very big. Our capital has 45. Yoink Dev used to be amazing, and you do it in every single piece deal, because you could go... You have, like, 150 development capital. But when they changed it so that it's based on the... It's based on how much development you're taking, and then it takes those points and converts them into, like, what it would cost, right, to do that many clicks, and then what the cost is in this location is the exchange rate. 
So when your capital gets really big now, it doesn't actually work or do anything. But you still take aggressive expansion for it. Which is silly. So you get no development and you gain aggressive expansion. The only use case scenario for us would be the Amir privilege that... Uh, There is an Amir privilege that lets you gain, I think it's a full year, a full year of manpower every time you do village. And I haven't tested it, but I think that would still work, even if you're not gaining any actual development out of it. This guy is unconditionally surrendered to us, but I can't take any clay, because the war goal is occupied by this guy, and we're... You, Sons of bitches, you know? They're just blocking me now. Get started on another war while we're, while we're waiting. Fight Baluchistan. I wanted to actually... I want an actual claim on John Purr. Before we fight them. And I don't want to take too much land that's not going to be correct culture because I'm I am thinking about the Smoogles thing now. Just attack Delhi. I don't have a claim on Delhi. You want to lose two stab? Two stab just to. Wow. Our king died quite young. I don't think it's worth a stab loss. Besides, we have Optimism. That means we did just lose our Islamic Center for Scholarly Learning and a whole bunch of piety. Are you doing a colony game? We have a colonist, so yes, technically we're doing a colony game, sure, kind of. Not a very fast one, but... Gonna have to go exploration, or sorry, expansion at some point, I think. Got 48 war score. The problem is that he's unable to get more than that. Everything's already occupied. Noir is getting picked apart by three countries now. You allied to someone I can attack? Could attack. Oh, I can't attack Coruscant. Bastard. Yeah, reloading might prompt it. Plus, the game's running kind of chunky. Considering your income, is it worth just starting more colonies, even if it's mega slow? We did the math on it uh, two yesterday or the day before. Um, we have really, really low settler like modifier because we only have exploration ideas. We don't have expansion or the expansion exploration policy. I think our global settler increase is at like 35 or 40 or something. So if you create a colony without a colonist, we're only getting like a quarter of the growth that you would have with a colonist, and that colony costs twice as much. So it's effectively eight times worse. Than a, than a single colony. And we are spent, we have, we have a lot of things that we need to spend money on still. We need Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of gold to upgrade all of the monuments that we're going to end up using in this campaign. Yeah, that's what I mean though, Welch. Like, but you're rich is irrelevant because just because we've got money doesn't mean that that money isn't needed for certain other things. Like, if you made a million dollars a year, you could buy a new car every month and you could afford it because you're rich, right? But that doesn't mean it's a good decision or that it's economically reasonable. It's, you know. So when I'm looking at it, I'm not looking at it like, oh, I can't afford it, so I should do it. I'm looking at it as it's eight times freaking worse. Eight times worse to do it than to run just one colony. So I, I don't want to pay that price. I think that it's really, really inefficient and I'd rather spend the money on other things like this monument, for example. If we had more global settler increase, um, it might make more sense. Like, if, when you're Portugal, definitely when 
when Portugal's in the first era and they've got their like plus 50 settler increase and they've got their all their mission turn-ins and crap and they're knocking out 200 global settlers a year, Portugal should definitely go over the colony limit because then it makes sense. Would it still be an eighth of you adjacent? Um, ba -bum, bum, bum. Here, we are colonizing adjacent to an existing colony here, so we have 15 per year because the colony's in quarantine. If it wasn't in quarantine, we would be at 45 per year. So the math again, just in case you want to know like how I came to that conclusion that it's about eight times as bad. If you look at the settler growth from your settler chance, this has gone up a lot, by the way, since we finished our... Uh, since we were able to finish the Congo Monument and revoke some privileges and turn on some other crap. So we have 41% chance each year. So he's increasing the size of the colony by 125.1 per year. And then on top of that, again, assuming that it wasn't quarantined, because we'd be running a new colony, right? Which won't be quarantined. It'd be at 45 per year. So if we only had the settler increase and we don't have the colonist part, it's going to be 45 growth per year out of 170, which is 26.5% as quick as the combination of both. But remember, when you're over your colony limit, each colony goes up in cost based on a quadratic formula. So the first colony, if you have five colonists, you can have five colonies at two ducats apiece. But if you go over by one, that first one costs plus 100% of the base price. So it costs four. The, the third colony, or the the second colony you go over the limit costs 400 total percent. It's uh, plus 300, I believe. And then it's plus 800, and then it's plus, you know, it, it's a quadratically scaling, increasing thing. It gets real freaking expensive. So even in the best case scenario, where we're only looking at paying double, that means that it's twice as much gold for 26% of the growth speed. And then that's where, because of the twice as much gold part, I basically evaluate it as one eighth is good, about 12% is good. It'd still be that bad. Four gold a month to increase colonization by 25% seems unreasonable. Uh, there is another factor that we should, we should, if we're giving it a good, good actual analysis, the provinces that you have that are colonies each have independent mean time to happen events that can fire that increase the settlers. So it is possible that like, by running more colonies, you're going to get more random events that increase the size of the colony. That's a, that is an argument. But alternatively, like if, if the colony is only growing at 45 per year, a thousand settlers required divided by 45 per year, assuming no events, is 22.22 years, 12 months in a year. So 266 months of four gold is 1,066 ducats for one extra colony. And that colony is going to be like six or seven dev or whatever, depending on where you're colonizing. I would not pay a thousand gold to... There are circumstances where I'd pay that much, like when we're trying to charter trade company to get adjacency, or when it's literally giving us a level three center of trade that the guy owned. But a thousand gold for a province is just way too much, especially when I need the money for, for the monument. The monument stuff is more important. Sure. The nobility privilege that reduces colony cost has affected my perception of, of things because it does give you up to minus 50% colony cost, and that is multiplicative against the additive cost increase for going over the limit. So, like, you, you can make all those extra colonies past your colonial limit half as, half as expensive, but is that good enough? I don't know. If everyone could just go ahead and peace out, that would be swell. Growth of the printing press. We do have this. Providing institution spread. Bum, bum, bum. Can't run edicts here because it's not a state. I don't think any of these things affect institution spread. I am going to keep saving the money rather than doing investments right now. Hopefully, 
my logic makes sense. I, again, I'm not... There's there's flexibility in it, right? It's not a black and white, like, never go over the colony limit. No, some, sometimes it can make sense. For example, if we didn't have the need for all these monuments that I'm planning on upgrading, like, do you, do you remember all the ones that I just looked at that I was wanting? Like, one, to get the advisor costs minus 20%. This one to get uh, the piety accelerator and power projection from insults so that we don't struggle to keep our power projection up. This one, so that we get another 30% naval force limit and minus 20% naval maintenance modifier. This one, so that we have another 20% advisor costs. Like, that already is like five of them, right? Each one costs five... <laughs> each one costs 8,500 gold base just to build. And then I click that little dumb button for 250 gold a pop until it's done, because I am not willing to wait, like, 50 plus years for the monument to actually be built. So, I'd say at minimum, I'm probably spending 13 to 15,000 gold per monument. Let's call it 15, and I want to upgrade 5 over here. I need 75,000 gold. I'm not going to spend money on a colony when I need 75,000 gold. I feel like I have no money. You, the person who's asking, like, like why, not, why not run another colony, you see plus 108.8 .8 and think, wow, that's a lot of income that we could spend on stuff. I see I need more money, you know? Unconditional surrender forces the only piece to be the person surrendered to. So you're saying that because he unconditionally surrendered to me, I'm actually blocked from, they're blocked from doing their peace deals? I don't have a lot of experience with unconditional surrender. If so, that's really freaking annoying. Advisor cost minus 200% doesn't sound useful compared to minus 90. True, but we're not anywhere near minus 90 or 200. We have 35. Will the monuments pay for themselves with the advisor cost reduction? Um... The value I see in... We're eventually going to have more money than we could possibly know what to do with. So, the break-even on, like, advisor cost stacking and then, like, reducing the cost is probably beyond the end of the game's date. But it doesn't really matter because it lets you always run level 5 advisors of whatever type of advisor category you want. Which means you get a ton of stability events from running high-level advisors and you don't pay like anything to cycle the advisor pool if you need to or to upgrade the advisor pool just try getting to minus 90% advisor costs in a campaign and see how it feels and then you'll realize like why i'm always motivated to find advisor cost stacking 17,250 toll and that's using only gold not using manpower cuz we are possibly going to use manpower at some point so sorry, is there confirmation that I am blocking their... I'm the one that's causing them to be unable to peace out because of the unconditional surrender? Does that mean we're just supposed to have white peace here? Ah, oh, that's annoying. Slowing down my ability to do the thing, huh? Well, I'm only seven reasons away here. We already have a diplomat guy. Hmm. No, I'm not willing to do no to do an OCB. Cause, cause we'd still have to like win the war, you know. Well, considering the amount of clay that I need to take, cutting in through to here, and then the land I need to take here. A no CB war is a lot of aggressive expansion with this region, and I think that that is not justifiable. I think we just have to come back in five years. Vassalize. He is too large to vassalize. Plus, um... Yeah, he's too large. We already have the age bonus for, for this. It's just the war score cost is just too big. Did Russia take religion? Like, religious ideas? No. 
So I'm leaning toward just white piece and come back and as soon as we can. That or maybe just take money. Fine. I need money. Like I said, I have no money. I need the money. Why can't we take Thada? Because it's occupied by Delhi. Because the bastard came in and I was busy murdering armies and stack, you know, focused on the sieges of the forts and I didn't bother to occupy that province, which was wrong. But what can you do? I, I literally can't take any provinces. See? I'm not allowed to. So, whatever. This shit. Jerk. Stupid AI. Already influencing, and I need you to agree at some points. He is in a war. Is he dying? He might be losing even more land. Alright, well, in that case, I think we're just gonna murder someone else in this area. Yeah, I'm not willing to declare... I mean, obviously you can always declare war, right? You have no CB war, but I'm not willing to take 20 base aggressive expansion in this region when I know that I'm going to have a lot of aggressive expansion to conquer all this clay. When I can just come back in a few years. It's not a problem. Royal marriage offer from Joloff. No. Bum, bum. If we get lucky and he takes land all the way to the coast, so we can just attack him. You, sir. Give Surat. have the money for the level 3 monument to begin. Did I ever take care of the rebels down here? Yes. Maybe suppress for a couple months just because there are quite a few rebels building up. Okay, level 3, go. Maybe I should be a bit more diligent about actually occupying all of the provinces in case it's it's a pretty common problem. Like we're we're murdering the alliance chains and making people unwilling to defend, and that triggers a lot of wars to start, that kind of stuff. Which is fine. Money or a half price level three natural scientist. Production efficiency does affect settler chance, so. Don't benefit from the prestige, but I don't really need the advisor. I'm not doing bad on admin monarch points, Jen, so I'll just take the money. Great. Gain 25 prestige when we're at 98. Neat. I am black flagged. Okay. Checking the math on a level 5 advisor from Game Start, working from just the base costs, will save you 48 ducats if you had minus 20% advisor costs for 3 level 5 advisors. Are you also factoring in the cost for upgrading advisors though? Because you can't get level 5 advisors. They, the highest that they'll spawn in at is level 3, unless they come from a um, an event or like a, a mission tree or something. So a big part of the cost and part of the motivator for stacking advisor cost discounts is not just the monthly maintenance, it's also the upgrade cost, right? This this guy costs uh, 60 gold right now to just to take him to level 2. It's more and more expensive as you go higher and higher, so it's, it's a lot. And if you get it to minus 90%, then it costs almost nothing to upgrade. It's great. 
Bum, 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 bum. Have the transport fleet blockade this so we can get that done faster. I don't have a claim on this guy, but he does have a center of trade. I think we will probably take that province in the war. It's non cold belligerent, but it's a small amount of dove. Pick okay. Vijanagar is also fighting Bahamanis now. Okay. They have armies. Not enough troops to do the siege, huh? Need seven. Hmm. Um, um, um. Can't tell. There's a lot of movement going on right now. It's distracting me. I have land that can be cored. Oh, right. I reloaded the save. That's why. Okay, this guy can head back up to here now. Need. Two more artillery, and I don't have any land force limit. I'm gonna delete these two infantry over here now. I'm done hunting for the seven cities. Just don't want to do it. PP at 50. Shit. Shit. I attacked the guy I was gonna vassalize. Oops. Well, I guess we'll just force vassalize, lose the dipple points. Is our army getting probably overwhelmed? They have a pretty good general. Um, we have one artillery in the front row. We are winning, but they're going to keep piling in, so we'll just retreat. Okay, now what? Build a barracks to gain base manpower. Fire! <laughs> Fire the admin advisor! Sure, whatever, Demi. If it makes you happy, I really don't care. They just they just don't like administrative advisors. It is true. They constantly want us to get rid of them. We should get started on the Siege of Baluchistan. Actually, we should get started on dealing with Gompur if we can. Bengal did all that. It's a lot. A lot of words. That's 50,000 troops. Jumper, stop trying so hard, dude. Just give me the clay. 44k troops. He's got, he's got no manpower, you know. Why is our fleet not working? 
Is trying to like repair the captured ships or something? Monument. I pressure this fort again. Um, 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 um. Might be a little bit dangerous having the two armies separated from each other, but. happened to our exploration? Why, why do we stop exploring? I do not know. Did I just like get bored of it or something? Maybe? Multiple explorers now. Now our peepee! -pee. You can re-insult Somebody, um, um, fix, please. Good. Yeek, run. May 8th. Uh, damn. I think I have to reinforce. Otherwise that force stack might get over, like, fully killed. I don't want to have to retrain troops. It's annoying. Stop reinforcing! My artillery are taking damage. It's annoying. I don't want them to go the wrong way. Go the right way. Thank you. Colony has completed. Ooh, E. I did say it about the exploring the mainland in South America. Yeah, I remember that. But I don't remember the Navy, like, dying or something. So I was a little surprised. I must have accidentally merged the ships in. Or maybe they got picked off in a battle. I'm not sure. I don't remember seeing a pop-up that they were dying, either. Baluchistan. What would you say? Oh, God damn it. Don't, don't, don't come fight us. Dude, dude, just... God damn it. Jumper. I don't know, bitch. Okay, well, uh, let's shift consolidate so that we can protect the artillery as much as we can, and then we're going to have to just retreat from this because we keep failing the damn siege. Even though we had like 40% chance. We can take tech. Innovativeness for Miltech is available in up until next year. We'll take it next year. Give me your loyal. Don't have uh, max piety, but not much I can do about that. He won't even give me the provinces that I want. Got elephants. He's got elephants. I was like, maybe we could have used a third army over here. Let's auto transport to... Hopefully they go the right way and don't waste all that drill that I built up. I'm gonna get your capital. I'll get it. Then you're gonna stop wanting to be in the war. Those are the rules. 
He's at negative 15 for white piecing. Kirk. Three diplomats free is quite a few. We're gonna get the Wargle back. Have reinforcements arriving relatively soon. We need to reinforce that army. Stop trying to fight me, Trump! Bar! Stop it! Pissing me off, dude. Stop going through open sea tiles. Fire our statesman. But he's half price. I don't wanna. Get your capital. Funny how it's always like the non primary participant that's fighting the hardest. At least it feels that way. Took my fort before we could land. Hmm. This is defensive terrain, right here. Stop piling in, dude. Miwar and Delhi did a thing. Okay, so he did take land, but not enough to allow me to fight here. But my truce with Miwar is pretty short. Um, I'll land here. January, guess we take tech. I like innovativeness. We haven't embraced printing press yet. But I like innovativeness. Sure. Um. Institution is at nothing here. Because we've got this thing that spreads institution, I'd like to try not buying the institution this time and see how effective it is. are going to just keep piling in, aren't they? We'll regroup these two armies. Where in the hell are you going? Weird route. I keep forgetting to integrate my subject, too. Dang it. Hey, we can do a 35% peace deal. Money war ups. Go away. You suck. Stupid jerk. We have to re-siege our coastal fort. Let's see top relations off here again, so that I can hopefully remember to integrate them. We're up to 91.5 army tradition now, so we're almost getting to the point where we're good at wars. Almost. I still need to go take care of Baluchistan. Army should go do that. We want to force vassalize them. Although I was considering Letting the privileges drop off again. So we're not really utilizing the relationship slots at all. But. Okay, 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 okay. Aside from Baluchistan, we're pretty much done. Next stage bonus will be Institution and True Faith Provinces.
don't have access unless I finish this fort. Getting close. We're a little low on manpower, down to 11,000. Negative 11,000. We have rebels here. Hmm. When did that happen? Alright, we need a general. 7 to 17 with 3 guaranteed. Who shall lead? Where does Pate start in? In the province of Pate. Whisper. Underscore. IV. Um. Yeah, rebels there too. Okay. Take care of that. I guess I'll have military access. It's just the rebels, sir. Okay, let's finish this monument. We now have even more institution spread. 0.85 per month is still pretty slow, but... Here's what it is, I guess. Um, um. Okay, we'll pay Dipple Points to Force Vassalize this guy. Would have been nice to not have to do it this way, but... It's alright. And from you, I just want centers of trade. I would like to actually connect our borders. Taking more land, and this is useful because I do have the uh, trade part thing. Um, let's see. Should we take clay just like straight up here? Try to get closer to Delhi. So we got blocked the other way. A lot of dipple points. We don't have innovative ideas. Sorry, uh, influence ideas. Yeah, I think that this makes sense. More coastal provinces for more shipyards and more trade companies is also reasonable. I gotta be a little bit light on the aggressive expansion, though, because we're gonna be taking a lot more land here, you know? We could also just disregard aggressive expansion, but I don't feel like we're militarily capable of just ignoring AE now, or yet. This seems reasonable, though. Okay, hey, before I forget, we are looking to integrate you. And they don't have enough opinion with me, again, because... I forgot to integrate them when I had the opportunity, and their gift dropped off, and... I just let a lot of time pass. But he's scooted now, at least. Abandon legalism. Ah, right, we finished the monument. Holy shit. Alright, so yeah. Abandon legalism. Move 200 toward mysticism for a stability point. So on command, we can flip completely the opposite direction. And that would also allow us to click this button and get manpower if we wanted it. Makes ideas cheaper. We are not doing an ID group for a while, though. Okay, the monument does work as advertised. Uh, crap, did I forget to consider monuments in that RP steel? All right, we don't have any. It's fine. I can get a claim on this province. This one's useful. I think we probably do immediately attack and take over some more clay. As far as the rest of this land, um, I think we are trade companying all of it. We will raise autonomy in it.
I only have a couple provinces in each state, so I don't really need to do the uh, trade company thing. How close are we, though? This one is at 34.2%. I think maybe I do take get like a level three center trade on this this province. Gain prestige. Okay. Might want to actually start my cores, eh? Crap! Just accidentally cored the land in the new world. Oh well, it was gonna happen eventually. We can chill for a bit, wait for our overextension to be gone. Not in a huge rush, really. Does our vassal have a claim on Delhi? If he, if he did, then it wouldn't say that we have no CB on Delhi. I do have a CB on him now, but... Ormuz allied to the Ottomans, of course. Fars is allied to the Mamluks. This is an opportunity to force vassalize the Mamluks if they're small enough. They are at less than 100%. If we make sure to co-belligerent them, then that would work. We wanted to get them as a subject. Yeah, these look like Bluchist Bluchistani separatists. Ormuz is at peace, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We've got too many provinces. And I don't think that these rebels are going to move down here because they just want their cores back. So, they've got to wait forever for him to actually enforce... to enforce it, you know? Bars would accept a threat for Baluchistan's core. Alright, I need to stretch my legs, give myself a quick little mental breather. We can see a lot more of the world now. Let's run the timeline and I'll be back in a sec. I got a I got a beer sandwich. I have a I have a choice. I can either take an aspirin so my tooth stops hurting, or I can drink beer so my tooth stops hurting. Both options work. But if I take the aspirin, then I shouldn't drink because you're not supposed to mix acetaminophen with alcohol. So I choose this. I don't know how you fix your manpower. What do you mean? Do you think we have a manpower problem? How do trade companies with one faith work? I thought trade companies made converting land more difficult. It used to be minus 100% missionary strength, now it's only minus 20. But what we're doing, I'm just delaying the conversions until we have stronger modifiers. I'm not, I'm personally not concerned about the conversion speed of the world yet. Maybe I should be, but I intend to go religious ideas. And so 
but right now I just I benefit more from you know I can always cancel the trade company and you just lose the production income for five years whatever just money but we probably should have our missionaries active Oh, thanks, Arumba. Don't use trade companies that often. Okay, I understand. You don't use trade companies that often. I, I thought for a second there you were saying just like, don't do it, Arumba. Don't use them that often. Excuse me. Why not? <laughs> I'm not watching. Did you guys see anything interesting happening? What is Ming up to that it's Ming China? Is that what it's calling it right now? Well, Ming did implode. We got Yu, Wu. Russia's in Russia. Uh, where were you seeing Ming China? I don't see it anymore. Or now. Okay, we have plenty of relationship slots. I need to get this guy to 190. Got my beer. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably worth... When you full annex the Overlord, you inherit the subject relations, but I'm not sure how it works with force vassalize on someone who has a vassal. If I force vassalize in a war against the Mamluks on the Mamluks, does the Jazz come along or do we or does he break free? I think he breaks free, but I'm not sure. Yeah, Timurids exist. They are a tributary state. Pretty sure that they do? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so... The last time we fought the Ottomans, it didn't go great, but... Um, that's fine, because we are stronger now, and stuff, or something. I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. I could stall. I think I'm going to wait, honestly. I, I don't think that the Mamluks are going to cease to exist entirely in their next war with the Ottomans. The Ottomans do want all of their land, but... I feel like recreating the Mamluks by conquering a Mamluk core and then releasing his vassal will be easier and less overall aggressive expansion and diplo point cost than forced vassalizing right now. So instead, I think I might force uh, just threaten war for the Bluchistan core of BAM. I haven't been spending manpower on the monuments, so that that war did take quite a bit out of us. Still. Well, there's from Jolof. We do need to integrate Mr. Baluchistan, because he's in the correct culture group. Is any of his land actually Persian? Oh, Baluchi. Hmm. I don't think there's a way we can... Oh, Baluchi culture would work. But... Monument. What is the next most important monument that we can get? I wanted the... Marwar Monument. Khorasan, Yarkand, Bengal. He only has 30k troops, 7k manpower. He's on tech 10 to our tech 13. Um, yeah, we have no manpower, but... We're also up to 50% professionalism and... Starting to get kind of strongish. I feel like, I mean, if I had sent over three armies earlier in that war instead of just two, I don't think Jumper would have even tried to fight us like he did. We do lack printing press still. 
See, I feel like this monument, like I built the monument for the decision. The institution growth is just like a secondary thing. I don't, I don't think I'm going to just wait. I'm not going to wait until 1562. I think we dev push it. Maybe. We need to deal with these rebels. How did we miss that rebel stack? I have room for a few more troops. No manpower. Cool. I have Gouger go here so that he fights better and loses fewer troops. Everybody come go fighting. Can we swing to mysticism? Yes, we have a click now. Um, it would bleed bleed away over time. If we're not planning on taking tech, we don't really... Here's the weird thing about it. Legalism gives national manpower modifier plus 20, but this click gives direct manpower. Over 9, so we lose the tech cost, lose the national manpower modifier and tax modifier, but we do gain this potential click, which... It does cost a stability point. Which would be, you know, like 100 Abin points to reverse. Our Regency is over soon. Our Regent sucks real bad. Jay Watts, thank you for your 63rd month. How are you? Happy Monday. Let's in, subsidize this guy a couple buckets a month. National manpower doesn't affect recovery, though? That's not correct. National manpower modifier does affect recovery rate. You look on a province and look at the local manpower efficiency. We've got 10% from legalism, because we're at 50. National manpower modifier affects provincial manpower. Provincial manpower affects national manpower. And maximum manpower is affected by the manpower recovery speed. So it's just strictly not true that national manpower doesn't affect recovery. Not certain how you came to that conclusion. The click can be 2x bigger if you slacken professionalism for one month. Bum, bum, bum. So for 50 military points, basically, and bring it on temporarily. Yeah, that could be quite strong. Let's wait until the Regency is over so that we're not spending extra points, and let's also wait for our course to be done. We'll just deal with these rebels real quick and whatever. We take the time to turn on all of our... Um, Manpower edicts everywhere. We could also make it a little bit bigger. Like we did gain a merchant from the trade company, or um, 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 um. barely. Let's keep this on so that we don't lose them again. This merchant should probably go where. Don't need one in Zambezi. Don't need one there. Don't really need one in the Ivory Coast. Deccan has 17 wealth. Coromandel has only 13. Deccan also has less total trade power, and it's also inland, so probably Deccan. Also, I've got a merchant who is collecting in Zanzibar, which is only giving us an extra 5.8 gold, roughly. That might be less than what we could make if we steer from somewhere else. Where's all the trade money in Zanzibar coming from? Trade income in Zanzibar is 51.02 from incoming and 8.49 from local. We have done a lot of development in our small country, but most of it's being diverted from Gujarat in the Gulf of Aden. We have 67% control here. We could use more control in this node, to be fair. I don't have all of the uh, centers of trade, for example. Also, this one's not been upgraded because it's not high enough level. Um, 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 there are probably more trade company 
buildings that we can do as well. We want to increase trade power. Oh, looks like I actually did build quite a few of them. Bum, bum. Are we on a good pace? I, I think so. I feel like we are, but I've never done One Faith, so... If there's anyone in chat who has completed One Faith on a recent patch, doesn't necessarily have to be this exact patch, but... You know, you tell me what the pace should be. I feel like I have plenty of time because I know we're going to have a lot of missionaries and missionary strength monuments and stuff, but I'm not sure. Okay, um... There was a reason why I didn't want to attack Delhi just yet. It was what? I wanted to wait for the cores, poten potentially. Or for maybe a little bit of actual manpower to come back. Boom, boom, boom. This is the type of regency that lets us declare wars, I'm pretty sure. What is the next most important monument for us to upgrade? Getting more advisor cost discounts would be great. Getting more naval force limit would be great. Extra merchant in Bangkok. I can never remember where that is. This one? Yes. Extra merchant. Governing cap. Ah, oh, right, right. And there is AE impact in there as well. More Dipple Rep, more advisor cost stacking would be nice. Um, what was our capital monument again? Is this thing any good? Sorry, our, our Kill Capital Monument. This one, we can get a little bit more ship trade power. And some more merchant trade power. It's not awful, but I think advisor cost discounts are more important to me right now, since we only have 35%. Three more diplomats with espionage ideas. I really think I might need to go espionage ideas. It's just too good. Okay, um... We have claims over, to he over here, but not to Pegu yet. We could attack VJ. Mewar won't defend. This guy doesn't matter. This guy doesn't matter. VJ's on tech 10, 56k troops, 9k manpower. Taking a whole bunch of VJ would continue to increase our income. And he does have a monument that I would like. It is called... This. That naval force limit plus 30 is very appealing. That one I don't think works for us. Uh, there's too many words in that one. Missionary strength plus 2. But it's not going to work for us. Yeah, taking... Fighting VJ lets us potentially get over to Bangkok and to uh, the Pegu Monuments. And it does look like a relatively easy war. Dang, the fort actually fell. Those are fast. Bum, 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 bum. At least two great powers allied with Pate with 150 opinion of us gives us 25 power projection. <gasps> PP size for 25. Oh, okay, all right. Let's ally some great powers. Who wants to be our friend? Nobody. Cool. It's over 9,000!
Why does no one like us? We're the best. Ugh. I mean, we are the wrong religion for all these Catholic great powers. How does AE look? We do have some people who would be in a coalition if they could. They have truces, though. We are only coming back at 2.6 per year. Which is not very fast. We're not very good at improved relations modifier yet. 30% overall. Vagrant Dragoon, thank you for your sub. Some dev clicks. I can get a bunch of money again. I feel like we should probably be dev pushing the institution again. The question is, where? Also meant to kill this guy at some point. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Seven point six six printing press in here. Can I? Move? Would it be great if you could move this monument? It's not actually in a useless location. Pretty cheap to develop because because Moyo or whatever. That's uh, in our capital state. Got our level two center of trade right now. It's not an accepted culture. But, um, that doesn't matter too much. I don't know. I'm, uh, having a hard time deciding what the correct play is with this institution. The fact that we have it spreading passively kind of throws a kink into the equation. Normally, if we didn't have that, I would be very motivated right now to do enough development clicks to get to 15% so I can get money, so I can build monuments, and whatever. Basically, this represents... You know, a third, roughly, of the cost for a level 3 monument, altogether. Because we have the Congo monument, we can always revoke estate statutory rights for free after the 20 years have passed. We could allow estate statutory rights to fire again. That would affect autonomy for those 20 years, though. We'll see. No war exhaustion. Income is... okay. Alright, you are about ready to be integrated now. This process started 600 Dipple points to integrate this guy. Kind of pricey. We have no idea group coming up, and I'm definitely not going for influence next, so I think it's fine to integrate him now. I do care about Baluchistan's opinion. With that decision, is it faster to go the opposite direction? To get Max in the other. Uh, you're talking about the abandoned legalism decision? Big Diplo attack? Or why? We have ahead of time penalty, haven't embraced the printing press, there's no innovativeness to be gained, so we're still we're still getting our 20% trade efficiency bonus for the next three years. I just there's no reason to waste Diplo points. State privilege for integration speed. You mean this one? Yep, it's on. Before we lose our dipple points, we're not going to lose our dipple points. We're only getting two per month now.
More rebels. They are mad. Bum, 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 bum. Anything in here we want to turn on? More trade power is always useful. Uh, don't need the prestige. Turn on exclusive trade rights for more dev cost discount. Might make it cheaper to actually get our institution devved. We are paying a little bit for state maintenance because I'm being lazy and just running dev cost discount everywhere. Hmm. We start eating nations in Africa. I've been doing nibbles here and there. Um, right now I'm thinking, I was just looking at this, I'm thinking about attacking uh, Nikor and finishing him off. And I'm going to sync that up with an offered vassalization to Kazembe. Just so that it's a quicker, simpler war, do one and one you know? I still want to be as frugal and efficient with my monarch points as I can be. So... Breaking apart alliance chains and stuff like that is reasonable, in my opinion. The Demi have a lot of land. That's pretty much just because I keep on doing dev clicks. I'm gonna revoke this. We don't benefit from them having that much land. I would rather that the nobles have the land. I found one faith to be easier as Catholic? Yep. Yes. There's na there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that one faith is easier as not hate. <laughs> but that's not why we're doing this, you know? Nope would accept vassalization. That's land that I would want a trade company potentially, so I don't know that we want to bum, bum, bum. do peaceful stuff here. His cores. Analysis paralysis. There's too many options, too many directions to go in. Playing in this area of the world is messing with my brain. You know, it's like, do we go for India? No. Do we go for Ivory Coast? Do we go for the Ottomans? Like, which direction should we go? Do I try to get alliances with great powers who hate me for a mission? We're going to have distance between borders for like, uh, we're going to have huge distance between us for pretty much ever. So. And they're so freaking far away. It takes so long for a diplomat to get back and forth that uh, I don't want to like, waste it, you know? But whatever. Guess I'm just still waiting on the cores. 51%. We're just drilling and chilling. Letting our manpower come back. We got 11,000 now. And, uh... If I'm going to be lazy and just leave on the edicts, I might as well develop the printing press and then switch to manpower so that we can stop having this issue, you know? Guess we're devving Kismayo. Uh, I want to do a level 3 center trade in the capital. We get an extra 10 dev cost here. Burgers are happy. Everyone's happy. Up you go. I'm gonna focus on these clicks first. Expand infrastructure again. All right, and now we've got. That spread rate, switch to institution spread in the state. And then... I think I will run Manpower Edict for a bit. It's not very efficient, but... 
not having manpower is what ruined basically our war with the Ottomans. So getting some more back would be useful right now. Even if it's only an extra hundred. Half of a barracks, right? And that also, this is, again, this is why I wanted to do it, right? Like, bam, now we can do this. This is great. Okay, we've got monuments. There's a monument in Bam. It gives merchants. We can seize this. I can core it because I have a subject with an adjacent core. Although his capital is not on the same continent as our capital, so I don't think we could actually. Quantity for next group? <laughs> no, probably not. I would go espionage over quantity. I would probably go... We need to get religious eventually. I don't know if we need it next. I think I think we need to still take one more group that just helps us to blob and be efficient and grow. And uh, that group is probably espionage. Three more diplomats, much increased siege ability uh, from having more spying, be eating, being e it being easier to spy. 20% um, aggressive expansion impact, 15% advisor costs. If we had espionage right now, and we have the two monuments we were just looking at. We'd have 35 plus 20 plus 20 plus 15. That's 90. Well, it's not that we're not limited by conversions. I have a lot of land we could be converting. I'm just making it into trade companies. I'm waiting. Because, like, look, if I revoke the trade company, I would have almost enough missionary strength to convert. But you gain missionary strength from decisions as you... Keep playing, right? There's a... Uh... Do they not show up in the list anymore until they're available? I remember you used to be able to see a whole bunch of them with increasing tech costs. They might not show up unless they are available. Muslims don't get many of those. Oh, okay. Well, monuments then. That's fine. No, I don't want to lose Crown Land. I need the Crown Land. Okay, we've got rebels in some places. Spain is so fast at colonizing. 100 per year with 40% settler chance. They probably have like freaking five or five colonists or something. Something silly. We don't need to be subsidizing you anymore. Zembe is going to be willing to vassalize quite easily. Um, I'm going to keep on improving relations with him before we do the alliance, just because we do get increased opinion growth the closer we are to zero. And we're not very good at opinion growth, so getting him all the, one, all the way to 190 is a little bit of a challenge. Bum, bum, bum. Can I... Build more boats, more buildings, more workshops, more courthouses, more anything. The marketplace in Herrera we can build, sure. Pretty good regiments again. Yeah. Eight houses. That province that I conquered had gems. Or sorry, paper. I want to build a state house here. Make the state a lot cheaper. Make up for the fact that it is a thinger. Being Mughals will help, yes, for sure. Need to sell? Need to sell. Need to sell what? 
Are you going to do the World Conquest to do One Faith, or are you planning to just force convert nations? The achievement requires all provinces to be your religion, so if you don't conquer the land, you're relying on an AI to keep their country converted. And uh, I would not trust that personally. Would you? Pretty sure we're doing World Conquest, yeah. Eighty-six percent on our cores. We're going to attack soon. We've got three, three stacks over here out of our nearly five. I have I have room for a full fifth, I think, at this point. We're a bit heavy on the artillery running, um, running five stacks, but the siege has been worse. Besides, we're going to have Tech 14 soon, which means we might need to start having more overall... Um, more overall... Blah, 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 artillery for our sieges. I'm okay with just taking the Tech now, I think. Or taking the Institution, rather. No one wants knowledge from us, but we're awesome. Why do you guys all suck? have 5.36 Dipple Rep. I'm awesome. Accept my knowledge. Seriously. Oh, we already are offering knowledge to VJ. Whoops. I knew that. Our truce with Orissa is up. Zembe. I need you... Uh, we can roll marry you, right? So, 75 opinion from the Alliance plus royal marriage. Then I can do gift. The great power influence is 125. I think we're ready to do ally him. Means we can finish off this guy. It's time. Austria, be my friend, dude. I need allies for power size, power projection size. I'm do great part influence on you. Our regency is about to end. Don't mind me, Nikor. There's no reason. There's no, nothing, nothing to worry about. There's no reason my army's here. It's just, it's just passing by. Get manpower to seventy-five percent, or don't. Fire the administrative advisor. Okay. <laughs> You're so funny, man. Stupid Dimmy. <laughs> Just fuck, fuck this guy in particular. It's the same thing every time, man. Bum, 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 bum. Two months, then we can declare. Move towards that or lose prestige. I will lose the prestige. Nice, we managed to get up to 83 piety. And we can take tech without any penalties at all in right now. Current level tech for 274 points. That is a good price. I like that price. Azembe, betray your like 100 year lines to this guy by becoming my vassal so that I can attack him. He has no friends. Sounds good. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It gives the clay, or it gets the... It gets the... I don't remember the joke. Bum, bum, bum. It rubs the lotion on its skin, or it gets the hose again. That's the thing. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, we don't have enough generals for these armies, apparently. Guess we only get... Alright, um, this is fine. Bum, bum, bum. How close are we to more? More of it. Not close. Because I've got two generals with this single stack. 
Well, that was certainly an easy war. You can cease to exist, please. Boom, boom. Get that army general back over here. Yep. Can't lower autonomy because it's not a state yet, looks like. Bam, bam, bam. The Zembe has claims. Yes, one. This guy has friends. Dumb. I don't have claims. Who else would accept vassalization so that I don't have to mess with this? A couple of them down here. We do the same thing and isolate some. Like, oh. Do you accept a threat? Oi, Mew. Thank you for your raid. I am, uh, just relaxing. Muslim click since Regency's ending. Hmm, that's smart. Yeah, that's true. The Regency is technically its own king, and we know when it'll end. Um, I was hoping to take tech, but I don't think we're going to be able to get that in time. Might as well. It's free money. It's free real estate. Only 400 gold, but whatever. Our new vassals should be diverting trade to us, and I forgot to do that. Um, Antimoro is being integrated. Take a few more nibbles out of people. Making how many points? Just four points per month. Trying to integrate this guy at the same time is making it hard to get caught up on the Diplotech. It does affect our trade income quite a bit as well. But that's fine. Wars are all done, right? Except for, yeah, okay, so it's time to kill Delhi. He has allied people. I don't care. I only have the one claim on him, but... I need one army, probably, to deal with Coruscant. Two armies. One army is enough for Delhi? Probably, just based on tech disparity. Take a province from Bengal to jump over to Ford Pegu a little bit quicker. Besides, I think there might be a monument that we can use owned by Bengal. This one needs to be a uh, culture group, Eastern Aryan Hindustani, and just be accepted culture. So, yeah, this can be used. An extra merchant. 30% ship trade power. Who's up with John Perp? Um, not until 61, but we can cut through. I only have the one claim, but we will take enough to get closer to Delhi and Central Doab. Probably taking these two. We're of course taking Marwar because I want this monument. I want to get advisor cost discounts going. So... Our Regency has ended. We have a new heir, whose name is Muhammad. Sultan plus six Babby the first, Nab Han, is a bold fighter. We have currently four guaranteed pips and seven to sixteen. That's not bad. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. We get two thousand money from the Dimmy after we take tech. No, his name is negative one Babby. Yeah, he's not very good. Um I think we kill him. I like being able to name him anyway, you know. Alright, Delhi. 
time for what the fuck is that? Ashkiria is a vassal of the Ottomans? How did this happen? Did Russia just never eat that guy and the Ottomans <laughs> are being dicks to him or? Is my frame rate becoming slower? Yes. Victor is showing his age. I built this computer five or six years ago now. And they've continued to add more and more content to EU4, and there is a, you know, a tax on the system to stream and play and run three monitors and all that, so. Game also, I think, still does have a memory leak. It just, it runs worse the longer you play. Oh, the frame rate of the webcam. That's just due to the uh, day ending. I don't have a light on. I can turn the light on in the room. That should help. Looks like it did just stay independent. And I guess, yeah, it looks like the Ottomans peacefully vassalized him. Mess with Muscovy. <laughs> Funny. It's such a dick move. It's something I would do to him, you know? Look at Austria. They ate Hungary. It gives the clay. Make sure we actually do get the Ticking War score right away this time. I have five armies now, and I'm only using three on this front. Maybe I shouldn't make the mistake we made earlier, and we should ship over a fourth. Actually utilize our troops, you know. This 24 stack is going to help suppress rebels for a bit. So, for our next idea group, it's either expansion or it is espionage, I think. Because I think we are going to want to colonize more. The sooner we can form the Mughals, the better. We can actually get... Uh, we're not really benefiting from our government stuff right now. We're, we're accruing government reform progress, but I want the free conversion to monarchy from forming the Mughals. Bum, 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 bum. I was spying on you. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we're going to need to get an army over onto Bengal soon. That'll probably be this army's job. ex -Pablal. Once he's done with dealing with Gujarat. I'm going to force the transports to stay on the coast. Try to avoid losing precious drill that they've managed to build up. Bum, 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 bum. We have a babby. Not as good as our current guy. Unfortunately, no fifth Diplo skill, but still, plus four babby. Definitely having more luck with our, our heirs compared to the very first session. First session was, ugh, so rough. There's our new army. They can go to here. We have a coastal fort to blockade here. Same scores for the Mughals will help. Wasn't Abin influence part of old world conquest strategies? Yes. Yep. I didn't not say we would... Like, I didn't say we wouldn't take those. I just said that I think that for the next idea group, it's going to be X or Y, right? Like, in terms of priority, I value... I value the advisor's cost stacking tremendously. I feel like consistent... 90% advisor cost discount um, 
monarch point stability, like the, the generation, having 15 guaranteed monarch points a month from advisors is huge. More impactful than 25% reduced integration costs, because instead of making the denominator smaller for your integration, just make the numerator bigger, just make more points. And um, monarch points are flexible, right? Like, rather than having integration discount right now, I could have more Diplo points, and then I can use those Diplo points for development or for mercantilism or whatever else, you know? Bum, 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 bum. And then there are, the justification for expansion is just that we we need to fill in the entire world. And yeah, we've got colonizers that are helping, but I literally have all non-wasteland provinces, not not all colonized provinces, all non-wasteland. That means every province in the world has to be colonized, and it has to be our religion. So I think that that pretty much necessitates our uh, assistance in making it happen. Yeah, and that's another good point, Cat Killer 5, is that we, we talked about the... Basically, right now, regular vassals won't help us convert. Which is kind of a concern. And that, that does motivate me, once again, to take... Um, religious ideas, maybe sooner than later. Um, I wanted to send a diplomat to... Gujarat. I don't really need... I don't really want a long truce, so let's take money warps from Gujarat. This army's job was to go deal with Bengal. This is basically done with Coruscant. I was doing it one faith too, but I'm missing those unfulfilled, unfilled lands then. Pretty bad news. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Echo Gamey. Gamey. Yeah, uh, it's a little confusing, you know. <laughs> Any thoughts to going over the colony limit? <laughs> Anyone want to give him a reference? Uh, a video link to the last time we talked about it? We have... We have... Okay, each monument we're upgrading to level 3, and there's a lot of them that we want, is like fifteen to 17,000 gold. So, the opportunity cost of running higher level colonies while having bad colony gold settlers is just not worth it, is the cliff notes. Which is again, motivating me to go expansion ideas so that we could actually have more colonies. We actually have two armies go deal with Bengal, I think one's plenty for, Beng for Delhi. EU4Wiki says non-colonized provinces don't need to be colonized to get one faith. Really? I guess I'm the one who misread it then. I don't know, I feel like the way it's phrased, it's pretty clear that it's all provinces. Okay. My, 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 my apologies for being wrong on the internet. I don't know what to tell you. Fucked up. Yeah, true, the wiki's never been wrong. <laughs> Well, that's great news for you, Echo Gammy. And I guess me as well, right? Like, maybe that means we don't need exploration. Sorry, expansion. Okay, um, we can buy this down. It's a little bit more. Expensive now because we don't have the burger thing on. The burgers do still trend to a good number. I'm gonna turn that back on now. What was I doing? Oh, one thing we were gonna consider is increasing goods production by flipping our native trading policy once we had good stability. Now it only costs 70 to bump this. 
Overextension will be gone soon. I'm gonna probably remind me. Remind me to don't forget. <laughs> hey, remember, remember that one thing that you forgot. Don't forget it. Don't just don't forget it. Okay. All the best. You did yours with a few missing provinces, but as you said, the Sunni colonizable, colonizable lands will be need to be that need to be converted. Is there are there a lot of Sunni lands that we actually have to convert then? Are you are you? Saying I should consider expansion or what? Only in Africa? Um, I'm pretty certain that there are some over here. Or are these all Hindu now? <laughs> Whatever, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, no big deal. New World Diamonds has happened. We want a siege. Ooh ee. Let's see if we can just politely ask for some maps for like the Bengal region. We won another siege. I don't see any force over there, so I guess we're going to Carpet Siege. Or Bengal. What did they do to deserve this? Do we pay a few points to get a province over here so we can touch Pegu and get that second monument? I think that I'm very close to being able to have minus 90% advisor costs if we, if we do that. Seems like a reasonable thing. We could just take like a 3 dev province over here. It costs almost nothing. And the other monument that's here I think doesn't work for us, right? No, this one can be used. Right. Can be, we just have to accept the culture. We have a we have a slot open. It's less important to me than the advisor cost ones, but I think maybe we do take that province instead. Just so that we do have it. Taking from a non-cold belligerent is gonna exasperate the aggressive expansion situation over here, but what can you do? He won the Siege of Roh. What you mean ex exacerbate? Did I say it wrong? I have had a 8% beer, so... I, I might just be slurring. Sorry. I hope I don't slur after one beer. That'd be kind of embarrassing, but... Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It will deactivate when we become Mughal. Which one? The Bengali one? Have a cultural... Have culture accepted by owner has owner's culture. One of the following. Culture group needs to stay Eastern Aryan or Hindustani. How, how does it work with uh, the Mughals' cultural acceptance thing? Does it not actually count it? Normally when you're an empire, you gain an accepted culture for free. And maybe the Mughals' version of it doesn't work? Or... We'll need to own all Bengali provinces as Mughals to get them accepted. Wait, do the Mughals not have the ability to just use cultural acceptance promoted cultures at all? Oh, so we need to own all of this before it'll work. Okay, well screw that then. Let's just take the three dev prep hole instead. 
feel like maybe it makes sense to try to convert this, possibly... No. Start spying on this derp. Bring that army around over there. We're gonna get Black Flag though, actually, so... Just go walk to here. This army can hang out in our new province here. We can continue to explore things. Are we done yet? I think we're almost done. Yarkan's in the war, but I don't care about him. Alright, so we want the monument. And then we want as little development as possible. So that it's not a lot of diplo points, since we don't have influence ideas. But we want to touch Dumper. And more importantly, we need to get to Delhi and Central Doab, which are... It's like... It's a lot. It's 50 dev. I think we're taking... Mirta. And that one. That lets us touch, and then we can fabricate. I can't take that, because it's occupied with somebody else now. Standard. This land is all trade company a bowl. So, that is a center of trade. That is a center of trade. Also a fort there. It takes just a little bit more. Just so we have the two centers of trade. And then, even though it seems like we would want, like, more of this land, the more clay that we take that's not going to be in the Persian group, the harder it will be to form the Mughals. So I think we kind of just chill. Can Propagate Religion still convert trade company provinces for you? Yes. Don't need Merta? True. Yeah, we can touch that way. Okay. Are there any other monuments further north that we're allowed to use? No. Not that one. But we won't take bites out of him then. He says no. How dare he refuse? I will occupy everything. I will burn your damn country to the ground, sir. Just say yes. Stop resisting. I need a dip mat. Hmm. Our army tradition is at 99.1, so we don't really need more battles. Colony's about to finish. Bum, 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 bum. Raise autonomy, raise autonomy, make monuments, do those things. This thing can be done. We have some money, let's uh, build it first. <laughs> Before we core the land, let's just instantaneously create this massive great project that's supposed to take, you know, 10 years for the first tier. 20 years for the second tier, 30 years for the third tier. We're gonna knock it out in a mother trucking day. Boom. 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 Build it. Build it. All right, now we can core. Only level two, unfortunately, but that's fine. Need more money. Can I have money? Can I get money from the Dimmy? I need to take Diplotech first. All right, fair enough. Mm. I can go there. These guys can all come down to here. That army is heading to Surat. You can drill now. We have rebels. Just the rebels. Uh. Sure we will. Might as well fight them. Almost done exploring. <laughs> Whoever said Rome wasn't built in a day clearly hadn't been to Pate. Yeah. Uh, we do have 42% control of the Guinea Charter, which is this. We're almost to the point where we have a merchant here. Might make sense to build some more marketplaces here if we can. Shipyard, workshop, 
I probably shouldn't have built the workshop. Let's build a marketplace. Can't build here, but the colony is at 995. Gonna finish soon. And not upgrade centers of trade because there's no dev. Might make sense to build this. Maybe it makes sense to... Uh, six, 600 monarch points just to be able to upgrade the center of trade. Would you pay 600 monarch points to gain a merchant? When you'll eventually gain that merchant if you just wait. But it's not it's not just that it's 600, 600? 300. 50 times 6. 300. 300 monarch points because I'm impatient versus just waiting. Like, the dev isn't awful, but... We don't get as much out of Diplodev here because there's a 50% malice to our production efficiency in Trade Company land. The trade value is all downstream from our nodes that we collect in, so we get nothing out of that. So you compare doing dev here to like doing dev in anything else, and it's like maybe a quarter as good. You're going to hit the cap. What cap? Military point cap? I don't want to do military dev. Are you kidding? I don't want to do military dev in a trade company. That's horrible. That's incredibly bad. It's like the worst land ever to do manpower dev. Cheaper to just eat Kong. Yeah, I agree. Well, Kong only has one province in this node. Cheaper to just eat Noop. Who's guaranteed by Kong. Alright, we're gonna... Drill and chill until we have a claim on Pegu. Um, we need more money. Once I take Diplo Tech, um, which is taking for absolute ever, because we have only four points of five points a month now due to our annexation. We could maybe run the advisor to higher level now, because we do have 10% advisor cost discount. This army got stuck up here. Awesome. And by awesome, I mean not awesome at all. Bum, bum, bum. I said I wanted to change this, and I forgot to send my colonists back out, didn't I? Well, we finished that state, and suddenly Congo is colonizing? But he didn't colonize this. This might actually be enough to get us our merchants. I need money. It's just the rebels, sir. Where in the heck is that province? The Congo? I don't know where anything is. Where is this place? This place? Damn it. Ubongo. Ubongo. Oh, it's this one. Well, screw them. Fight them. Just kill. Make it so. Make everyone die. Waiting for the burgers to be loyal to buy down inflation. Because the effect of the burger thing is tied to their loyalty. Right now we're getting 26.6% reduced inflation costs. It can be as high as 50. Makes sense to wait for that trending equilibrium point. Keep exploring, and exploring, and exploring, drill. Add a military access request to Fars, we could maybe get our army home. Drillin' and chillin'. PP at 51. Malicky Scholars has expired. Nope. I want it always. Thank you, game. Um, um. And we run this guy at level... Ah, uh, he can't be upgraded. Never mind. Okay, War with Pegu is not going to be very difficult, I think. Ayatthaya is actually quite weak. I don't... 
I don't remember the last time I saw Dive Yet win against Ayutthaya. Missionary strength is not very fast. We could temporarily put a merchant here. I think I'll do that. Let's move the merchant that's in Zanzibar here. We just have the, the node convert those provinces for us. Stuff's getting converted. The menace from some place. I don't care. Bum bum bum. Burger's loyal. No. Time for Diplotech. No. Come on, game. Work with me here. Military point cap soon. A rising star. So many pop ups. Stop it. Gain prestige or get a half price manpower guy. We already have a half-price manpower guy. No, we have half-price land maintenance guy. I can use more manpower guy. More manpower. More manpower, more good. And we can promote him. We have 45% advisor costs right now. Soon to be 55. Mm. Yep, Congo is probably Catholic. They get an event to flip to Catholic. Alright, so... We have no room for generals. We're going to do some military dev. Do we have on dev cost edicts? No, we have manpower edicts on everywhere. Let's switch back to lazy dev cost everywhere mode. And I'm going to get rid of probably half of my manpower, or half of my military points. I still want to be on track to compete for the innovativeness on that. But, um,. I don't really want to take it early without competition. Um, is the colonist arrived here yet? Yes. Add a trade company. Can we get you to be over 50? Ugh, so close. So close, and yet so far. What if I do the thing where we build trade company investments in a province that doesn't even have here. Look, you have 16 settlers, but I've just increased your trade power to 33. Is that enough? Ah! Winning! <laughs> That's like Roughly half, right? Maybe? Kind of? Closely? So, sort of? As soon as we take this Diplotech, I don't care about the Dimmy being loyal. So I might click the Dimmy Give Me Money button. And that should allow us to... Uh... Do... something. Forget what. We've gained our merchant. Nice. This merchant can go to here again since we moved him to the Great Lakes. There's our claim on Noop. God, espionage ideas giving you the ability to get claims on entire states is also such a huge benefit to it. It's really hard to, to not have espionage ideas now. It's so strong. Piss off the Dimmy, or lose a thousand gold. Hmm. Those both don't seem great. Fortunately for me, we don't care if the Dimmy are happy anymore, so... <laughs> screw you guys! Oh god, they're gonna be all over! Ah! 
that stupid rebels. Rebels. Where are they? Here. Okay, that one's not a big deal. Here. Whatever. They are here and here. That part is annoying. Bum, bum, bum. I need to get military access over there. Or maybe it's faster to ferry an army all the way over. Transports aren't doing anything right now. I guess. Russian mark. Yeah, it makes sense because I'm actually, uh, I'm going to be wanting to attack that guy that we just got the claim on. Having an army over here is reasonable. No, don't go through all those open sea tiles, you stupid idiot! Ugh. It's a new game. Just came out recently. So, you can't expect it to work, um, perfectly or anything. Or in a remotely logical way. It's funny how espionage used to be one of the worst groups. Funny or sad? <laughs> they had to go and, like, buff the shit out of it year, like, year after year, patch after patch, until... I mean, they literally stole some of the best stuff from influence ideas and gave it to, to uh, espionage. Okay, I can claim only one province, but that's okay. That's enough to get us into this guy's... ...hands. Alright, so the Dimmi are not happy, but I'm about to make them even more unhappy by taxing them a lot. Give monies. Thank you. Level 3 monument, please. Can't do it because we're quarrying. Damn it. Oh no. Plutocratic coup. Because they've got 100 influence. <laughs> Pretty much every click we have on is really useful. Really hard to justify turning them off. And Demoro is gone. You can make states. State. You get a state. You get a state. And you get a state. We get to lower autonomy. Um. And then wait a month and do it again. Because it takes time for it to update. And I've got too many diplomats. Royal marriage from Kasayanj. Who? Who are you? Who? Who now? What? Um, I do want a claim on Congo. More claims on Noop is also kind of okay. Mm hmm. The concentrate dev button is not some- I saw it. I, I recognized that it was possible before I made it into a state. I didn't even bother to look, because I just know that our capital has way too much damn dev. It's at 46. So the odds of us actually getting any kind of favorable exchange there is so low. I did a mission. The slave trade. Ooey. Wow. We need to be not a tribe. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. I was waiting for the burgers to be loyal before we lower inflation. Um, get a claim on John Purr? Yes. Thanks. Can you tell that I'm a little, like, just tired now and also distracted? Um, and drinking. I mean, I'm beer and a half in. Apologies. But this is a blobby blobby worldly con worldly conquesty. We just gained colonialism against the Ottomans. 
What? But why? What does he own that he doesn't have a connection to his capital with? Colony Jask in Asia. Huh. When did he get that? Oh, I see. He just took it here. Okay. Weird. And I get colonialism against him because of my subjects? I don't border him here. Huh. Yeah, he hasn't gotten colonization ideas or anything yet, but that's uh, unusual. Bum, 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 bum. Bum ba dum bum 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 Because we border by sea tile? Do we? I don't think we do. I don't own I don't own something that borders this. Islands are over here. That's my subject, but I don't I don't own anything in this area. Um bum 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 We just gained a lot of coastal land when we integrated that guy, so there's a chance that we uh have more naval force limit. We need another twenty light ships. Waiting on our core. Bum, 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 bum. Can I get crown land, please? I can get crown land if I build a mosque here. It will lower missionary strength. Aha, joke's on you. I don't care about missionary strength because we've got the this guy doing his job propagating religion. If I do two more dev clicks, I can get money. I like money. Did you know that I like money? Um, 5,000 of it. Wow. Crap. I was going to do something when they were loyal. Now they're not loyal. Good. Oh my god, you too? <gasps> A kindred spirit? Holy crap. That's incredible. It's nice to see that our income continues to rise, even though, um... Even though I've added 20 to 30,000 artillery over time. We've got our merchant back from the Ivory Coast after getting those provinces unoccupied. Let's take this, uh, transport navy up to, like, 40 now. Is that my core? Can I build my monument now? I want it done now! It's my monument, and I want it now. Bam. Special unit force limit plus 10%. That means we can get, like, Cossacks and, uh, Samurai and, and, like, all of the special units, right? Not just the ones that we have access to? <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. But, um... Yeah, it doesn't really benefit us. Inflation over two is bad? Yes, but as I mentioned, I don't want to click the button until the burgers are loyal because their privilege reduces the cost by up to 50% when they are loyal. And I, I just missed my mark and I clicked the buttons too fast. I was supposed to lower inflation while they were above 60 and I, I got excited. I saw the big money click and I was like, ooh, money. Remember? Do you remember when I said that? I was like, I like money. I remember saying that. Um, um, might make sense to do this one soon. Lost Fabricate Claims is useful, and it is going to stack well with Espionage if we go Espionage. And I have the money, so sure, why not? Um, although, we do have a claim on Pegu right now, so we could be upgrading more Advisor Cost discounts as well. Might be better. You never said you like money? Not once? That's horseshit, Jimmy, and you know it. I I am pretty certain that you all know I like money. 
like the start of the stream, remember this? Jimmy donated and said this. Still kind of scared me. I think you are an okay person. Oh, that's not what I... That's not the one I remember. Here, here. Th Thun Air said this yesterday, three days ago. But do you like money? Yes. I do, I do, I really do. Oh, thank, thank you for asking. We have an explorer doing nothing. He can get off his ass and go explore then. We have six maneuver explorer, wow. That's that's a lot. Trying to circumnavigate right now would be pretty dumb, right? It's not gonna work. Can we beat Pegu easily right now and get his monument? Dive yet, Mong Pai, Ait Thaya. All of this basically. Heck, 13, 13, 12, 12. And we are on 13. We would need all four armies that are over here, I think. Auto transport with that. Let's grab the army that's here and maybe we attack. Nope. He would make us fight a bunch of dummies. This army is probably fine on its own. They're all behind on tech. I just want coastline. I want more naval force limit. Um, um. Burgers, become happy, please. You, give play. Just give it. Stop not giving it. We should wait for a second claim. Since we're close. Also, this monument will make it cheaper to get claims. 10% cheaper now, wow. Only costs 18. Which means the second claim should cost 23, I think. I think that's how it works. Additive reductions and all. Be happy, burgers. Come on. It's time. Gosh, the autonomy here is just awful. First claim should cost 18 now. I need to get one from John Per next month, probably. Nope. We're off by 0 0.08. Gives the clay or it gets the hose. Again. It's the hose again. You want the hose, AI? I probably don't need that anymore. Definitely need that one, though. Free transports. Oh, right, we're building transports here. Forgot about that. Gained crown land. Amian crystal. It gives the claims, or it gets the hose! Yes, I'm still on the Pringles thing! <laughs> Am I taking this too far? I'm sorry. You understand that reference, right, Jimmy? Right? Cores are done? Yeah? Which cores? Pretty sure they're done, yeah. I don't know. Yes, they are. We watched that a few days ago. See, in my head, it's like every day that we've watched it. You know, like, it just... I don't remember. Could have been... Could have been yesterday, could have been a month ago, could have been a year ago. It was just, just, it was just yesterday. We just watched it. Yes, I'm still on the Pringles thing. I want to have a daughter. So I can finally have someone in the house that can fit their hand inside of Pringles cans. Yes, I'm still on the Pringles thing. Uh, we have room for a general for the first time in some number of minutes. Who shall lead? I'm getting a little drunk. No, I'm not drunk. I'm getting a little buzzed. Let's say that. Ruin dark. Boom! Dude! Dude! Whoa. Four guaranteed with up to 17. That's a big number of pips. How many is that? Five plus four. Count together. Is that 19? 19? Got a 19 pip? So you're two off of perfect? Dude! Boom! Boss! Egu, give clay. Need more trips over there. 
Okay, the transports have arrived. We've got one, two, three. Three stacks is probably enough, maybe? I don't know. Pro probably. I mean, I know I'm doing another war, but... I guess we've had first war, but what about second war? I go. Give clay. It gives the clay! Ow! I don't have access. It gives the access. It gives the, it gets a stick. Pose again. <laughs> Find biggest number. Click. Done. Bum, bum, bum. Are the burgers loyal yet? No. Damn it. Really want to lower inflation. We have access yet. No. Damn it. Alright. Uh more stab. Cool. Good. Let's commandeer the navy and... Here, Bengal, can I have access? It says yes. On the siege. Do we? What are the next thing? I'm not going to transfer the forts, because... Whatever. We probably need more forts, by the way. Can I fit forts here? No! I build forts here. Yes. One here, one here. No. One here, one here. Paradox. Why, why, why do you do this? Like, how perfect would it be if two forts perfectly covered the island? You gotta leave one province out? Such bullshit. I'll be back. One sec. Okay, I am back. Oh, change the colony thing when cores are done. Yeah, I do want to do that. Um, well, we're at max stab now, so sure, we'll just turn it on. I was expecting to have to buy the stab, but then we got multiple good stab events. So, if you thought I was a little loopy or buzzed before, I I'm about to finish my second beer, but look, I've got two more! Wow. Colonist, you idiot colonist, what are you doing? We're being occupied here. Hmm. Let's finally, like, fill this in. <laughs> the province is too far away. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay. Fine, whatever game. Whatever, whatever you want. I don't care. Mild monsoon. Ugh. Arid. Local settlers minus 10, local settlers minus 10. They both suck. Whatever. We'll run two colonies just to start filling in the borders a little bit, I guess. Sure, I mean, why not, right? Where is my navy? Here it is. Commonwealth have rivaled us. I find that to be a bit rude. Um... Thaviet's got 30k, Ayutthaya's got not that many. Let's go kill Ayutthaya first. Do we have access yet? I do. March! To arms! To, to war! We go! Go! Here, you two. Come on over. Let's all party in pate. I mean, Pegu. Whatever it's called, I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, ba bum, bum. Ten more infantry, please. Um, what are you doing? You're being useless. You should be drilling. Bum, bum, bum. Does Mamluks still exist? I don't know. 
Let's check. Mamluks is still exist. Ottomans took another chunk out of them, but didn't finish them off. They've got a province here, here, and over here. They got they lost their subject. They are a th 1160 reasons away from vassalization. If we got rid of the province that we took from them, the one or two, maybe. Or we just attack them. Or we just wait for him to die and I can release him from here. That's fine too. Is the burgers loyal yet? No. Damn it. Are there any last mission rewards to take advantage of before flipping as the Mughals? Well, this one requires us to get to 80 professionalism while having 75 army tradition. No, one of the three. But also... Wait. Either 80 professionalism, naval tradition at 75, naval tradition, army at... both at 75. Or we have to wait for... Miltech 20 or Miltech Diplotech 20. That's a long time. This one wants us to have three provinces in the Coromandel Trade Charter. This one is related to India or China or whatever. This one needs us to get to the government rank empire. Can't really... Well, can we? Can't we? It can't be an empire. We could be an empire, we just need 75 prestige. Ooh wee, we're almost an empire. Wow. That's exciting. Might as well have this army stop on the war goal. You believe that I can't release him because it's the wrong culture. I own... Suakin? And it is indeed the wrong culture group. We would have to take over a province from the Ottomans. Which is something we're, of course, going to do, because we've never... Well, we haven't. We've never lost a... Damn it. That's so mean. Dude, he just killed, like, half my troops in this navy. The hell? So freaking rude. Try to, like, hide over here so we can rebuild that army to a conformed template. Look at me, going around with no combat navy to support my transports, and the AI's like, no. Bastards. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Gotcha. Did he do it again? What the hell was the navy doing over there? That wasn't my navy. Was it? I don't understand. Um, uh, whoops, this is one too many. Oh, yeah, Explorer. Ah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I got gotcha. you. We're gonna get you again. Better watch out, I'm gonna get you. Artillery in the front row. We are winning, losing. But we did win. Uh-oh, there's more coming. We're gonna get you. They really wanted to fight us here, for some reason. Might be a reasonable proposition to add maybe five to ten heavies to our transport fleet, just so that I don't get mad. I don't want them. I don't really think I need, like, you don't need them, strictly speaking. You can just keep building ships and keep building armies and eventually you'll overrun the enemy, but for my own sanity and not getting frustrated with the game and rage quitting, probably a good idea for me to, you know, not. Such a small expense. Yeah, like, so each heavy is 0.62 gold a month. So six gold a month as insurance. I think 10 heavies is probably enough to dissuade most enemy navies from fighting us. Six gold a month is a lot, but I just, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. They make me mad. 
Returning scholars. I like scholars. Scholars are tight. I can convert provinces. Okay. But if it's here and here, I don't want to do it. Here I do. Because those can't be converted by the thing. 1.7 and 2.2. We have access to a clergy thing. We could turn on... Can you actually run both of these at the same time and just have no effect? Oh, never mind. Clerical ministers will be revoked. Oh, wow. I didn't realize you could just flip them. So you don't actually have to get the Elima loyal enough to revoke it, then grant the other one. You just have to grant this one. And it just flips. That is really useful to know. I should have known that 120 years ago. Yeah, we have to rebuild our transports. Although, I did start building some on the... Uh, Ivory Coast. So we'll see. We'll wait and see how many we end up with. Let's do, um... Enforce Unity of Faith. While we're doing these conversions. There's like... A few transports over here and more potentially coming out. Here. You're supposed to be... Getting our merchant back who disappeared. Um... What? What's what's going on here? It looks like one of these provinces did flip somehow. Bluchistan. We could ally Fars and use return province. Return these three provinces without having to fight them. It's not horribly unreasonable. Haha, I got your fort. Uh-oh. That's not a good place to be drilling. Never mind. It's fine. Keep drilling. <laughs> Whatever. This is all fine. Click button. Upgrade government rank. Boom. We're an empire. ooh -wee. Got cultural union on stuff now. Neat. Not much, but something. We should probably unoccupy that colony so it can actually grow. All that's left is to try to circumnavigate, so I think we don't bother doing that. Don't get ya. Is there a six siege pip guy? No. He's over here being a boss. Look at him go. We're not at war with that. Whoops. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him go to the wrong province like a moron. Everyone, everyone point and laugh. Did you see him? Did you see how dumb he was? <laughs> it was his, it's his fault, not mine. I definitely didn't send him there. Evangelical Union Protestant League has begun. Kong, do you want out yet? Because, like, you're being... You're getting dead. Do you notice that you're dying? Ah. No, I broke it. Shit. I hate it when it breaks. This is the most important thing. More important than any achievement. The 69 day siege. We must be getting strong two wars at the same time. Kinda, we're fighting... We're fighting newbies. Don't know what they're doing. Bum, 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 bum. 
Bum, 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 bum. I need a diplomat. Bum. That battle is not the greatest, but I'm thinking we're fine. Unless they pile in. Their artillery got into the front row before ours, but we do have a few up there. I think we do retreat to the security of our secondary stack. We had... We had three... I had planned to use the three stacks over here, but... The navy just was stupid and they died, so... We're ending up doing the war with just two. Making it a little bit harder. Can you go away yet? Please? Not you, Jimmy. You're allowed to stay. Just... Just, you know. We have 37 for peace there. Maybe we just negotiate with Noop directly. And, uh... Don't bother trying to, like, full annex him. Just take, take the rest of the stuff that's part of this trade node. He won't let us force his religion. What a jerk. Okay, this colony is more important, I think, than this one. Let's retract and send the colonist. Get I out of the war. We get a claim on a doll, unless we've got permanent claims still from a mission. We don't. So I want... I wanted all of this capital state. I just want everything. Maybe I shouldn't even bother fabricating claims because I'm I'm thinking about going espionage soon. The burgers are happy. This is now cheaper. I've gained my merchant back. My PP is small. I don't know why this keeps happening. <laughs> Increasing autonomy would have no effect since the maximum value is 100%. Yes, but it's at 90. Game. It's at 90? It's not at 100. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? You can raise autonomy at war. You can't lower autonomy at war, but you can raise autonomy at war. What's going on there? We have 23 day siege takes. Right, but think about all the other variables that go into the equation. There's, there's local defense from terrain. There's... Um, each individual country having a different amount of other crap that affects their fort defense. Um, their power projection, for example. Their idea groups, their national ideas, and we keep... We, this is the second time we've had... It's this two times. That's more than zero. And one. Two whole times. Did you see it? I saw it. We have room for more troops. Uh... We don't. Glide. Because they are slowly training over in India, I guess. Let me get you out, right? Uh, this is still taking a lot more to work on. Not having a third army is really slowing it down. I need to 
Yeah, I had a feeling. They're trying to train troops behind like 17,000 land uh, naval units and stuff. The problem is that when you go to add regulars, see the watch, it's doing it again. It queued the land unit behind eight ships because it's not smart enough to, to realize that the this click is smart enough to see other ships. This click is smart enough to see other land units, but they don't interact with each other. So it's like, oh, you want to build a land unit? Here's the first land province. Thanks, game. First heavy has arrived. Our pee, pee No! I need to insult somebody. I will insult Spain, because they are the stinkiest. Doomsday! That's not Spain. Our PP is now slightly embiggened. Do we? Do we still need this? No. No. It's a big, huge Ottoman. So that's a big, huge pate. Look at this. That's a big, huge pate. Remember, the Ottomans started off with, like, you know, fucking artillery and other shit. We started off with, like, six dev in one province that wasn't the correct religion. <laughs> like... Uh, yeah, let's not, let's not praise the Ottomans for their ingenious efforts to blob as, like, the number one ranked great power at the start of the game. They're dumb. Dumb and they should know that they're dumb. Oh, I slowed the game down. I was wondering why I was going so slow. But it's an AI? True. True. That it be. That be true. Alright, the army is officially rebuilt. It took forever, but... Gain stab. Okay. I like stab. Um, or... Get a half price guy. Rigorous researchers, potential versus half price Abin guy. Hmm. I bet we get overall more monarch points than the cost of a third stab would be if we just run a higher level advisor. So I think we take this guy. Especially because we're about to get Pegu's capital and upgrade our advisor cost discount again. Right now we're at. Uh, 55% advisor costs. Competition or innovativeness. We gotta wait till January of next year. I'm supposed to make friends with great powers, but they don't like me. These sieges are taking forever. What the hell's going on here? 49 days? Good god. Vietnam, what the hell? Stop it. Like, wow. That's a lot of defensiveness. And here we've got 53 day siege sticks, 125% defensiveness. I didn't actually mean to send white piece, but okay. You gonna get black flagged? We did. Hmm. That's fine. This army can chill over here until the other army occupies the fort. This army is 
Gonna march over to the Wargol. Gonna have a new ID group soon, so we got that going for us, which is nice. Bum, 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 bum. We can do this click in a year, and that should be enough money to upgrade the next monument to level three. So we got that going for us. Nice. I think tech in January. Might as well unoccupy this province. I don't think the core finished. Did it? Did it. Still unoccupy it. While we're passing by. Nine heavies are complete. Ten heavies are complete. They will go join the combat transport fleet. We're we'll building ships here? No. I have 16 transports and we're building... S uh, I can't read this. Artemis, help! What had happened? What did you did to it? I think we're building seven transports and we've got 16. I need more... question mark. More, I don't know. Build more. Let's go to like that many. What mod is it that shows the PC list clearly? That is part of the Artemis UI mod. Exclamation... I think it's exclamation EU mods? Not mods. I know for sure it's not mods. Yeah, EU4 mods. There you go. It's one of those. Taking tech in January. We have tacos for Portugal. Almost done with this. This is probably going to be my last war for the day. I'm going to win this war and probably take a night. Take, take the day. Yeah, take a break. Take the night. I was re-watching last night for some reason. I, I don't know. I've been like reflecting a lot on old content. Just, uh, you know, we talked about it a while ago. Yesterday, right, Jimmy? <laughs> the whole Flanderization concept and like how I've changed and how the industry's changed, how YouTube and E4 have changed. And um, I was watching... Crap, the Dimmy weren't loyal. 1444. I ruined it. Anyway, I was watching Tac Team series with Shen, and apparently, I don't remember, I did four, I did four Tac Team series. That's so many more than I thought I did. I thought I did like, one, two, but I did four. Can you believe that? I used to play with Shen a lot. No way you save this run now. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I know you're joking. Right? Please tell me you're joking. Please laugh. <laughs> anyway. So. It's interesting. Like, I, I played a lot with Shen and, um. He and I. We had a similar rapport to, like, what. Seizure and I had. It was really kind of shocking how. Like minded he and I were. When it came to, like, decisions and how we would evaluate technology or you know, just features in the game and stuff. It's a kindred spirit, man. Ah! Hi. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> that's not, that's, you wouldn't hit a man, you wouldn't hit a guy in glasses, would you? You wouldn't hit, you wouldn't, you wouldn't scare a guy who's been drinking and is like about to wrap up a stream and scare, and scare him, would you? You would. I see. Let's see. Um, um. All right, these two can go to here. You can go to here. You, you and you and you and you can go to like here. Give monument. He has two monuments, right? Can we use both? I don't think we can. I don't think this one works. We're just taking his capital. 
And we might as well take the thing we had a claim on, I guess. Sure, why not? More clay. More clay, more good. He doesn't want to give me all of his money, but I want all of his money. You are... You're supposed to spare, scare people when they feel safe. <laughs> okay. How many... I want to, I want to walk that back. <laughs> so you're saying, like, when a young lady is walking home at night after a, a night out with her girlfriends and she's in a neighborhood where she's, you know, comfortable and familiar that that's when you're supposed to scare her? Huh. I wonder how that works out. <laughs> that's not, that's, that's, <laughs> obviously. Just give me everything I want, Pegu. Give it. Give me the money. You never have too much money. It's true. There we go. Thank you for the clay. This army can go to that one. This army can go up and around to that one. And... These two go to here. Pegu. Trade company. This can be a trade company. A raise autonomy. Raise autonomy. Monument. I want my monument. It's my monument and I want it now. I can click this again in three months. Let's not even start the core because I just want this my money. So nice. Yeah, Killer 5, thank you for the gifted subs. I'm in my cups. I apologize. Oh Eight gains a claim and the Swahili Guinea Company will be expected to... Uh, no, no, I don't like trade company. Promises or whatever this bullshit is. Annoying. Never take those. They piss me right the hell off. No way we can save this run now. Colony finished. Do we? I think we still are just running one colony at a time because I'm lazy. I don't want to think about it. And it's the last decision of the night. I just want to click this button and build my monument. It's not going to be enough to get it all the way to level 3, but we can make it pretty close. Money? No money. Little marketplace in Kismayo. Okay. Drill! Everyone drills. Drill or die. Drill, drill, drill. You can drill too. Drill. These transports can head to here-ish. We're at 140 troops. And we, I don't want to build buildings, so we're going to upgrade the monument. So I start the other core, though? This core can go. In fact, there's no reason to wait. I can just do this now. Oops. Money! 5,000 monies. We have very little crown land. I need to dev push soon. But, look. Monument. Look what I did. I made a monument. Level 2 now. Oh, weird. Oh, that's strange. So it's Diplo Advisor for the first two tiers, then it upgrades to All Advisor. Huh. Alright. Well, one more level to go. Let's do our core first now. And that's gonna be a wrap. I'm gonna call it now. Cat Killer 5, if I didn't acknowledge you, I apologize. I'm in my cups. I barely touched the third beer, but, you know. Any reason to have trade companies while your missionaries are idle? Yes. You want to know the reasons, or did you just want to know if there were reasons? <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting a little bit a little uh, snarky. <laughs> uh, you would like to know the reasons. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so the reasons is that we're going to go religious ideas, and we suck at doing conversions. Um, so... I'm just benefiting from the effects of 
the trade company lands, most notably the naval force limit, right? Like, even this crappy province with, uh, even, even inland provinces give naval force limit plus five, point five, sorry. And then all of the coastal provinces give just so much naval force limit, and that's good. And the thing is that even if we do the trade company investments like these, you can always cancel a trade company on a per province basis instead of a per state basis. So once we have religious ideas, I can just untrade company, convert, retrade company. You you can add land to a trade company five years after having revoked it. So yeah, exactly. It's, it's a money and power now while also giving stability and merchants earlier versus having to do the conversions. And uh, we will be better at conversions later. Right now we're kind of in a monument blobbing money stage. We did have a war with the Ottomans this morning that was like not great, I'm not gonna lie, but based on our current army sizes, I feel like the next war with the Ottomans is gonna go a whole lot better. I basically tried to fight them with like two stacks at first, and then I brought in a third, and I got it stack wiped, so oops. And then I brought in a fourth stack, but they weren't fully drilled. So I kind of just like undercommitted. The next time we fight the Ottomans, trust me, we're gonna bring one, two, three, four, five, six fucking stacks. We're gonna fucking get them. We're gonna kill them. Never gonna see it coming. But that'll be tomorrow. So, have a wonderful night. Happy partner anniversary to you as well. Yeah, we need to increase land force limits still. And we get to we get a new ID group. First thing at the start of the stream tomorrow. But there's no way we can save this run. I'm hoping we can form the Mughals tomorrow. That's my main goal. If I can get that done, I'll be happy. So, cheers. Have a great night. Thanks for your support. I love you, Jimmy. Also, Pancake's here. Do you want to see him? No, don't run. Stay here, cat. Stay. Look. There's people. Inside that little circle. They're very, very small. You need to look at them. Can you see them? They're in there. Just look at him and say hi. Go morale. He doesn't want to morale. Don't ruin my chair. Okay. Lately he's been sleeping in my chair again. And, I, and when I wake up in the morning and I like, I want to sit down and like get ready to start streaming. He just doesn't want to get out of the chair. So sometimes when I sit down, you might ever, you might notice me sitting like this, like, like right at the very edge of the seat. So, because he's sitting right there, right behind me, like, refusing to leave. <laughs> Funny. Eventually he leaves because he gets too hot. When I'm sitting here. So, anyway, have a good night, guys. See you in the morning.